stay after the home of popular culture as defined by the culture. And of course, we are hosted by the very best. Please, everyone, introduce yourselves. Six foot plus, pure temptation, big march on the east side of the bridge. You know what it is already. Come on. Happy Monday, people. Oh. <laughs> Don't give Mark flowers. <laughs> For saying, saying happy, happy Monday. Monday. No, because he's not usually that nice. And Mars is not consistent. Sometimes he comes with just six foot. And so we just need to know who he is. And then other oh, times yeah. he gives us a whole intro. Yeah, because he didn't really start strong. So I thought, oh, yes, I was like, where's the vib? I was going to ask him to do it. Yeah, but then he said, the yeah, he did. And, and guys, he's got shorts on as well. So he's showing Make a wish. Please. Wow, <laughs> make a wish. You, didn't, you have no scars. <laughs> Mars has got perfect skin. Okay, well, damn. Okay. okay. It's a proper star. Okay. What we're not going to do, so, what we're not going to do is trump me <laughs> on my show. That's what we're not going to do. You're so dramatic. He said, oh, you think? He said, you bet. <laughs> okay. I've got one well, um, All right, Queen, you go. <laughs> He's so dramatic. That was the way to start. Um, my royalty. <laughs> the shade Queen, I don't even know. Show us a scar. Show us a scar. <laughs> do you know, I've actually got one on my ankle. Oh, do you? I'm younger, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Everyone show this first. Everyone show this card. Can you see it? Oh, shit. Do I have a scar? Okay, anyway, guys. Okay. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you... <laughs> Yo, we're so silly. How do you get down the head? Oh, yeah, I got, I got that scar as well. Um, when I was younger, I ran into the edge of a wall. Why did you do that? So you could be on this show to share your story. I was <laughs> just running in my house. How old are you? <laughs> no. Oh, no, we're sorry, Brent. Cut that. Brent. Sorry. <laughs> So Brent, this intro, Brent, cut that. it's such a Monday intro. I was about Brent, don't you dare do four years, years old. Either. Just yeah. cut that. Can, can we can we talk about <laughs> can we talk about your scar when we get to your <laughs> intro? Right, cool, cool. Max said, Max said, Brent, don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, your beautiful people is big quite defending your right to fuck it up. We're not oh, doing this. No, We're not doing this. I don't know on purpose. I don't know okay. This is what a big man use. What's this? Week two. <laughs> In the go. Big Brother house. Week two, day six. Come on. Let's go. All right. I'm still standing. I'm still strong. I'm going to have an intro eventually. Mm-hmm. But for now, I'm going to play on the new guy vibe. Yeah, but I can't lie to you. By week three, I'm going to be tired of it. Of your countdown. No, no, no. Okay. Cool. By week Give three, me I was disappointed. Today. A month. A month. A month of counting. Okay. All right. Give me a month. All right. A month to what though? I'll give of counting. To count down the, the days that I'm on the pod. So this is day six. You know it's oh not a sentence. God, that's 30 <laughs> days. It's not a sentence. What do you mean? You're meant to be happy to be here. <laughs> all right, cool, all right. Okay. This is the last week then. Okay. Yay. This is the last so, week. Thank you. Because that's the probation. Ah, right, cool. Yeah, week two. Okay, okay, so, week two. End of this week. Yeah, we'll see how we act. I'll stop I'll stop yeah. counting now. Alright, cool. If you're here next week, Monday. But yeah. And we're okay. considering giving you a birthday gift as well. So put your is it? Put your date yeah. in the in the WhatsApp chat. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, considering. As I said, no one told me about this. To, to <laughs> me and Mark said like no one told us about this, but okay. <laughs> to anyone listening as well. Mark's never listening. 14th of June, right? There you go. Okay. 14th of June, what? His birthday, birthday oh, Mark. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's, it's early, not the day. <laughs> just, just in case you're not there. Early, Mark said, I know I'm going to forget, it's so just yeah. hold that for now. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's get back on track. <laughs> Say the longest intro of my life. <laughs> Honestly, all right. E-man. Yeah, they call me um, E-Man. A okay. full black activist. Come on. TDA producer, news analyst. Okay. Okay. And of course, the melanin is jam packed. Okay. Oh, no, he, he has the best intro, I'm jealous. He absolutely does. <laughs> well, you have, you have time to create yeah. yours. Yeah. He does. <laughs> Not Mark saying, Have you heard mine? <laughs> <laughs> wait, no wait, one else wait, said that. Who's got the best intro? <laughs> All so right, guys. So, so I'm super excited because today we're going to be giving you, well, not excited. Today we're going to be giving you an update on monkeypox, Taliban, be Taliban. Not monkeypox again. Yes. Listen. It's not, I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. And obviously, it's taking over the world. All right. This is the monkey pox pod. <laughs> okay. No, it's not the monkey pox pod. It's <laughs> not for me. It's the monkey pox show. And um, <laughs> can I just say this intro? I, I, is I, I feel like we're fair mongering, you know, don't it? No, we're not. We're no, no, no. I like only this. hear about monkeypox here. Brent, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true, though. It's true, it's true, it's true. Do you think you're going to talk about monkeypox and feel fellas? I've seen it online. <laughs> Fair Fair and I know you hear me. You know you're talking about that. Yeah. So, Fair this enough. is the best place to hear about monkeypox. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not giving you guys any more intro. Let's just talk. How's, how's your week been? I'm tired. I'm tired. How's your week been, guys? Oh, your weekend. Your weekend. It was all right, man. It was good, man. Yeah? Yeah, man, it was cool, man. Chilling. Same. I had, yeah, a chill, yeah. I had a chill weekend. Same. I thought I was going to go out and have a super wild weekend and it didn't pan out that way. Why? You just decided to take care of yourself, chill? Um, yeah, I thought I was going to be out Saturday night, out Sunday night. Mm. I was in Inside. Sunday. In Saturday. I was well, outside. Well, kind of in Sunday. But I went outside. outside. I was outside. I was very outside. That's good. One Except of the from three. Saturday 
Okay. Saturday, I took a day off because I needed my energy for the show. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah, I was outside. I was very happy with my outfits. That's how I judge my yeah, you days. Said. Thank you, Queen. You I, I really said. I did it first. Though. Absolutely. You know what I mean? But yeah, it was really, really fun. What about you, Iman? You yeah, never share right, your man. what happens on your weekends. No, I was I'm right, like, Iman's like a double agent. He is. He's actually business. a white man. <laughs> <laughs> He's a conservative. <laughs> Secret life of Iman. Do you know what I mean? What do you do? What do you mean? On the weekends. Chill with family. You had a barbecue yesterday. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, and a barbecue. Like, did he put this on social? With with yeah. uh, with uh, was it meat free or vegan? Was it? Yeah, it was like it was like hundred percent plant based. Wait, do you know something? I was meant to mess I was meant to message you socials. The stories, isn't it? The black creator. Stories. Follow him on online. This is like one of the first time I did my stories. Oh well done. He's becoming a social guy. No, no, you're not crap. You're starting. How come you don't watch the fight? Which fight? That, that was just the response alone. We are in Monday. We go again. <laughs> in sync. In sync. But this time he wasn't <laughs> disgusted. He wasn't. He wasn't. Because he was, his, his um, attention was more in the fight. Yeah, yeah, fight, yeah. yeah. Fight. <laughs> but Sorry, was this fight? the Lippy, Lippy's fight yeah, that he won? Days, yeah. But I saw no you... black clash. But you say, no, anyway. he didn't. What did he say? But I was going to say, you, you know us. Did you really think I was going to watch that? I mean, I thought everybody I was quite. I don't know. It's mad because obviously it's a bias in it because he's my brother, isn't it? But mm. I thought everybody was like no. involved in it. I saw Taze. I said, oh, Taze is fighting now. I said, Taze is in everything. Just the BBC extra. Like, relax. Oh, you thought it was Taze? I thought it was Taze. Taze is the fight. <laughs> so, Taser's you know, Taser's I did not do that. <laughs> she said, Taze is I was like, Taze has got range. Yes. He said, I can do it all. Athlete, presenter. <laughs> Taze said, hire me today for everything. I'm a jack of all trades. I like to cook. Literally. Taze is out Extreme, uh, uh, was it wonderful? Did you enjoy it? Were you part of your boy? Um, yeah, it was a good fight, man. Definitely. He, he choked up, he nearly cried in that. It was like the movies. He oh, cried afterwards. It was like the he movies. He was choked up, man. He was he was he was moved, it was emotional, man. About what? Huh? It's about win. what? It's, it's the, his journey. Yeah. Bro, oh, journey. come on, man. Just respect the man's journey, bro. Yeah. He's a boxer now. Yeah, but his journey, the blood, sweat, and tears that he put in to get to that point where I he was of the today, tiger. Nah, in front of all is, his yeah. friends and family, and to bring the belt home. How right. can he not be emotional? That was a nice. Lippy was hyping the fight though. He was like, <laughs> for the hype he was giving, <laughs> I expected a better performance. Like he won, but Mars is evil because Mars yeah, set this up. Lippy, Mars Lippy, set this Lippy up. Lippy was giving stiff. He was giving my arms can't move past a certain point. <laughs> <laughs> he was giving this. Lippy said somebody invisible is holding me. Lippy was. <laughs> <laughs> When Brent yeah, does a clip now, you're going to start playing Victor again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's going to start no, saying, what is have, Me and Lippy have you no... You guys don't no... know half of what's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> me and Lippy have no priors. I've never met him before, so it's, it's fine. That's so funny. Man, so no Do you know what's killing me though the most is the fact that Mark's associates see his movies he said Lippy choked up because like he was like the movies. Because <laughs> people what? don't cry in real life. People don't cry in real life. You're hella Studies. attentive. The, the you're very attentive. Most of very. That. No, but I think like, to be fair to him, yeah? Yeah. Obviously, I think you're supposed to sell a fight, innit? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So Obviously. cool. And okay. after the fight, yeah, yeah? He's been pretty honest and, and, and transparent about yeah, it. Yeah, I've like seen he, that. I've he seen did it, say, yeah. he did say he wasn't disappointed. He did say the occasion got to him. Yeah. Couldn't relax. He was himself. Yeah. He wasn't himself or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then they jumped in the spaces the next day and then he watched it back and he's like, He's like, no, actually. I did he's like, I punched you up, mate. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the spaces again. I think they're gonna go again. He yeah. me. And he's like, no, I watched it back. And he's like, no, fuck, I didn't feel too good afterwards because my one, because I didn't do nothing. Like he didn't do anything. Yeah, mm. you get me. Taze was given this. was like, like Taze was super defensive. Okay. And obviously, Lippy was whole, yeah. Lippy was struggling to break him down. He was throwing a lot of power shots. Not a lot of them was landing. Okay. But he probably landed more shots than Taze did. But he threw. He threw way more than he landed. So my man was just defensive. And then what Taze was what Taze was doing was just covering up, covering up, yeah. letting him punch himself out and then throw like a quick little jab or whatever. Yeah. So and, but catch- did those land? Yeah, they was catching him. Okay. But then there was no real like power behind him. There wasn't really troubling Lippy, if okay. that makes sense. Okay. And then Lippy was just the aggressor the whole time, just like going for him the whole time, the whole time. Sounds like a meaty fight. The funny thing is... No, it was actually quite entertaining. Okay. Like, Taze was being aggressive with defence. Honestly, How are you aggressive with defence? I, I hate like, Yusuf. I don't like, know what he's saying. <laughs> being, like, but, the thing is, he's like almost <laughs> dictating the fight with defence. It doesn't mm. make no sense. That's what I'm saying. Like, he's rushing towards Lippy. But, but they're, new, like, they're, they're new fighters, mm. right? They're, new yeah, they're fighters, not fighters. So. Supposed, they're, they're not fighters. They're first time. So yeah. stuff like that you have to... So maybe their next fight, they're going to actually punch. But I think, like you said, Taze... He delivered more than everyone thought. Yeah, he over, yeah, he he over, he, he over, kind of over delivered. delivered still. Okay, people well, expected people expected a better performance from Lippy. I, I think, and yeah. I think that's why the, the internet went how it went because, yeah. like, just initially the shock because Taze overperformed and Lippy underperformed. Yeah. They kind of think Taze won, but okay. I don't. I don't think he did. Yeah. And and Lippy was convinced at me that Taze was meaty. Mm. So I'm listening to Lippy talk. Is that talk. Taze? 
Yeah, yeah I'm listening to Lippy talk. I think, yeah, based on what Lippy yeah. says, Taze ain't got no, a chance. No, but when, from the wing rook, yeah, Taze walked out of that ring like he was a demon. He, the, 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 he had no nerves whatsoever. Yeah. I thought he had okay. a gun on him or something. He was oh, moving. Okay. He stepped out there looking serious. Yeah. I was like, okay. Okay. He's, he's ready to go <laughs> You get me Well I'm glad Thank you guys for giving us A breakdown of oh, this Big up Lippy This intro Yeah and a big win. up Lippy And Taze mm-hmm. Since yeah. he was aggressively defending yeah. Which is good in this life yeah. So there you go Also I heard the Big Tobes fight Was meaty mm-hmm. Oh yeah that was mm-hmm. meaty I haven't seen it though I haven't seen no footage I heard it was wonderful to watch No no the fight was meaty Why because you, you I think Big Tobes No no I just, I, I, I just When I was in the girls group chat They were following the fight Very closely And they said he, he was wonderful Yeah I think that's because Yeah because you guys Big Tobes is wonderful to watch I don't know And we look we're not going to objectify him. It was wonderful to watch. I'm right? not objectifying. I'm just saying I appreciate God's work. Because he worked on him. Yes, he's worked on him. But anyway, I mean, he worked on you guys as well. Okay. All right then, guys. But let's jump into the very first headline. A monkeypox be monkeypox. Oh, dear. All right then. So, guys, we have been keeping you up to date, abreast of all the monkeypox stuff. Mark says we're, verg- we're verging on... Fair mongering at this point. But well, we're just not. keeping you updated because the news is the news and that's what we do. So Israel, Switzerland and Austria are the latest countries to confirm cases of monkeypox, oh, no. bringing the total um, number to, of nations reporting outbreaks to 15. Israel and Switzerland both said that they identified one infected person who has recently travelled abroad. After the outbreak was first identified in the UK, the virus began to be detected across Europe with public health agencies in Spain, Portugal, Germany, Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Italy, Sweden, um, and Sweden, sorry, all confirming cases. So all non-black countries. The UK Health mm. Secu- <laughs> Security mm. Agency has identified 20 cases so far. Don't start that because I remember COVID. Don't start that. <laughs> no, I'm not saying we can't get it, <laughs> just... but you're not going to make it that with a star because at one Jay- point, <laughs> the branding of, of COVID started to get real coloured. So God forbid, but next week, work or joke is going to be on... Monkeypox in Africa. But carry on. Oh, let's not say all of that. It's part of the taxes. <laughs> okay, the UK Health Sec- um, Security Agency has identified 20 cases so far, with one being a child who is in critical condition oh, no. in a London hospital. Its chief medical advisor, Dr. Susan Hopkins, in an interview said, we are detecting more cases on a daily basis. Yeah. High-risk close contact of monkeypox cases in Britain are being urged to self-isolate and avoid children for three weeks. Belgium became the first country to introduce a compulsory 21-day monkeypox quarantine after three um, cases were recorded in the country. It's repeating history. We're seeing some countries move quickly. Do they not feel the need to tell you the sexual preferences of the people anymore? Oh, no, it's coming. It might not be coming. It depends on what our producer did today. You know, sometimes he likes to identify certain things. Okay, as a reminder, monkeypox does not tend to spread easily between people and the illness is usually mild. Government guidance states that high-risk close contact should not um, close contacts should not travel or self and self isolate for three weeks, as well as not go to work. The government has also said unprotected direct contact or high risk environmental contact includes living in the same house as someone with monkeypox, having sexual contact with them, or even just changing their bedding without appropriate PPE. More than eighty cases have been confirmed in the recent outbreak in Europe, the US, Canada, and Australia. So, are you guys scared yet? No. Okay. Uh, li- I am smidgen. I am. A smidgen. I am a little bit. I can't lie. Because this is how COVID started. Yeah. Like as in, in we're countries. hearing it. No one taking it seriously. Yeah. We're being blase about it, and then boom, pandemic two years. Yeah. Mm. I'm seeing a lot of similarities, like I said, to like yeah. you said, to COVID. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if this country can afford to even act sensibly. Like, yeah. can we shut everything down again? Should we? I don't know. So, yes. Y'all are scared. That's that's the end of that sentence. Yeah? <laughs> no, Except I'm, for Marks. Yeah. No. I'm, well, right. the minute you're at home scratching and you're like, well, what's that? You say a boy. One monkey pox. Then you'd be scared. <laughs> but you won't, please. But I don't, but I don't know anyone with monkey pox. Yet. Yeah. Well, I don't just hang around and rub up with strangers. How the hell am I going to get monkey pox? From your I friends. I don't know what's being said. Your, your no, let's, be, let's think about this realistically, just quickly for a second. Okay, because we were thinking about it as a joke. Okay. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I don't fraternize with strangers, yeah? Yeah. And nobody I know has monkey pox. How would I get it? Because they, one of your friends could fraternize with Strangers somebody. Strangers and get it. And that's how things move around. Well, even my friends, I'm not like rubbing up with them or changing their bedding with the inappropriate PPE or having sex with them. So but I you are really having sex it. with some people, right? Hmm? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> because it says you can get monkeypox by having sexual contact with somebody with monkeypox. They may not know they have monkeypox because they were having sex with somebody else. I swear, is, I can you be asymptomatic with it? I hope so. Because <laughs> if you can't, if you, if, you, if you can't, then I just think... But what if it was just one boil? Like somewhere yeah. where you couldn't, where you couldn't see it, and it takes five days to like on present. A head. So in that five days that it takes to present, you can spread it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before it presents. Yeah. So there's no cure for this because I'm I googled they, it right. There's a oh, vaccine. There's a vaccine. Yeah. So why can't Another we vaccine? get those rolling out? I can't well, like, I'm about to take that tomorrow. The UK are kind of my, they're trying to get all the vaccines. Yeah. My they, basically they're using sorry oh, no, they're good. using um smallpox. smallpox vaccine. This one you don't have to convince anybody. I'm first in line. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the third dose. <laughs> all in one. <laughs> she says shoot me up. <laughs> shoot me up. Impossible. Um, I don't know. I worry with, with stuff like this. The issue is if it starts to spread really fast, it usually changes its makeup. It's like, it, it, and when that happens, then I'm worried about how um, helpful the vaccine is going to be. Because mm. remember, COVID started to create cousins and sisters and stuff like that. Mm. So I'm just a bit worried. So I do think we have to act quickly. We have to act as a as a world, not this stupid thing where only one country does what it needs to do and the other zone. Um, but yeah, I guess there's always something to be scared about. So I, I do hear what you're saying, Mars. But what's annoying is that UK is always so late about everything. Like, oh gosh. Yeah, we are very It's late actually COVID all over again. Because we have terrible leadership. I just feel like, why can't you have, um, is it foresight? Yeah, yeah. why can't you have foresight have and see these leadership. things? To, to be fair to them, I think they God are kind of acting me. quick because they're trying to get as much uh, vaccines as possible. Yeah, well, do we have some already? <laughs> um, I'm not sure if they've got some. Yeah, they've got some now from getting it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's start giving to people that pay taxes or something. I don't know. <laughs> she said, leave the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. You and the homeless. Not this week. That's not. You and the homeless. Not this week. Like, it's a new week. It's a new dawn. It's a new life for me. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but, no, but yeah, can't, why can't they start like the ones they've got already? I think they're giving it to people who um, are at risk. How do you know if you're at risk? So Old, you've been in young. close contact with people who've already got it. And stuff like yeah, that. But if there's like three cases in the UK, mm. And the population of the UK, mm-hmm. who's unless you're in the household, yeah, family, you're not really all that type of stuff. And anyone that oh, they've had, you realize why I'm not bothered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on your side. <laughs> I get that part. <laughs> That's about it. I but don't yeah, know. I just feel like because only three people have been discovered. For me, that means there's thirty people that have it. And I think because it takes head. five days to come up as well, right? Because oh, think about it; those three people didn't just sprout monkeypox. Like they fought someone or changed someone's bed in, and we just haven't found that that person isn't reacting. So I don't know. It's not three people, by the way. It's twenty. In so the UK, means, but yeah. do we just reach fifteen? But you know, you know, COVID more started. fifteen nations. COVID started like this. Got it. Fifteen nations. I've got it. Yeah. At a certain yeah. point, only one person had COVID. Then yeah. two. Because that's how things happen. <laughs> Just twenty. No, it wasn't even one then two. It was one then three. Yeah, then 15, but there's more people with COVID. There's, there's more people with COVID now than there is with monkeypox. I know, but the government mm-hmm. has to focus on one right, crisis right, at a time. Now. Yeah, but that's because COVID. Yeah, because monkeypox is still the new kid on the block, bro. Like me. No, was yeah, exactly. Amazing. I'll bring it back to you. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but at one point though, COVID was the monkeypox, where it was one person, then three people, then five people, then whatever. So we've got into the stage three years later. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, even at like the rate of. Of what's it called? The rate of R or whatever it is. The, um, the, um, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. The thingy rate that um mm-hmm. what's the word? When you con contract it? Rate of same, same thing anyway, you know what I'm talking mm. about. It's yeah, we're with you. you. Okay, cool. <laughs> he was about well, to he was about <laughs> to discipline me, say quite support me or <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, I think the COVID one is still higher actively now. Mm-hmm. Infection. Oh, yeah. Well you said so, R. Sorry. Yeah, that's what they call it. They say... It's oh, let's move on. It's yeah, infection. The R number. Yeah, they do some... Oh, okay, some okay, okay. Okay, whatever. science. What I'm saying is, yeah, I'm I think that COVID it. number now is still higher than the monkeypox one. Mm-hmm. So even though monkeypox is new and it's shiny and it looks mm-hmm. like it's thing, so COVID, it's is, still, COVID yeah. is still more... But can I be honest? Monkeypox is also... And COVID is not even that dangerous looking. anymore. Not that dangerous, but I'm saying like we've kind of like got our... We kind of like got control of it. If that mm-hmm. makes sense. I'll be so honest. I'm missing your point. I'm saying that we've kind of got it's still COVID is still more dangerous than this monkeypox, and we've got control okay. of COVID. If that makes sense. Oh, it's so that I'm very saying it's not. Okay. It's, so it's not really. Okay, that, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I should have led with that. I, I did. That's what I said. To no, you, no, you, no, you, you were saying. <laughs> no, because I thought you were saying that there's more COVID than monkeypox. I was like, yeah, because COVID is that three years old now. Yeah, I'm saying it's still more infectious. It's still, it's still more okay, like. Okay, it's still more spread. Yeah, like. Okay, okay, that makes sense then. I'm so scared. Yeah, because the way it looks, because them telling people to just isolate as well, like isolate the wounds. What? Retract. I think people will isolate though because of the way it presents. I think you know vanity yeah. is going to play a role. I think people are going to isolate. But um, man, we'll keep you up to date with this. We're probably going to talk about this tomorrow, so stay with us. Um, and let's jump into the next headline. We don't need music for it. Um, P is for pressure. <laughs> it's a different play. No, because that's what we're doing. You know when I say jump, Brent is ready. So I'm just like, <laughs> <it's sweet>. just <laughs> stop. Like, let's jump into the next headline. All right, but P is for pressure. Right, so Afghanistan female TV presenters cover face. Women presenters and reporters on TV channels in Afghanistan went on air with their face covered on Sunday in line with what has now been ordered by the Taliban. The Taliban is not a government body, right? Yeah, they're taking over now. They're taking over. Okay. 
Wow. Okay. The day before, uh, the day before, some of them defied the, the edict. You take yeah, a piss, bro. Um, <laughs> you're taking a piss, bro. Um, and kept their faces visible. One presenter um, said women working in TV had resisted it, but their employee, their employers had come under pressure and there was nothing they could do. Tolo news presenter Farida Sal said the beats um, told the BBC, it's okay that we are Muslims. We are wearing hijabs. We hide our hair, but it's very diff- difficult for a presenter to cover their face for two to three hours consecutively and talk like that. She said she wanted the international community to put pressure on the Taliban to reverse the rule. <laughs> Taliban then, okay. Um, after seizing power last year, the Taliban have increasingly imposed Restrictions on women's lives in recent weeks. Most Muslims around the world do not consider women covering their faces in public to be a mandatory part of the religion. And the Taliban initially appeared to be adopting a more flexible approach after seizing control of the country in August last year. But in recent weeks, they have imposed a series of um, restrictions on women's lives, including assigning separate days for them to visit public parks and barring them from making longer journeys without a male guardian. See, I find the covering of hair really beautiful. Many women in my family do it, even if, and a lot of them are not Muslim. Mm-hmm. But the idea of being a grown woman, but being treated like a child is one of my worst nightmares. Like yeah. not being able to go to the park on separate dates, like needing a male escort, having to cover your face, even though it's not part of the religion. That's bad. I just don't even understand. The covering face one, I'm this. not understanding that. Covering the face. Like as in the whole face has to be covered. Yeah. Is that I mean I I don't know because I know That's some wild. Muslim women like they 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 do embrace certain parts of this and other women don't you know they only stick to what their yeah. their doctrine says but for me for me it's more the lack of control like me having to have a male or school yeah, so that wild. I don't think you understand how much that would just reduce my mental health so much like I just I'm but sorry then even them saying that the um they want what what she, what she say she wanted again. International community to put pressure on Taliban. That's why the Taliban don't care if anyone. I don't think they give anyone can tell yeah. them what to do. Are the Taliban still moving like a terrorist organization? If oh. so, that they in the complete rebrand. I don't because... think they're the peace of God. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think they're the peace like, of God. They're, they're trying to impose like you know legislations and stuff. But when I hear the word Taliban, I just think of terrorists. Yeah, mm. yeah. They, they need the to name is quite. It's quite change the name from Taliban. That's, like, <clears throat> first that's, by, that's by design, isn't it? I yeah. know, but mm. still. Like, and anybody who goes against anything that, that the West says is an enemy, really. So, but you, do you, 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 t- you don't even take but into consideration them whatever their have... plight is. They just vilified and made the enemy because they're going against whatever the thing is. And I totally agree with that. Yeah, but their that, own yeah. people. Well, oh, them are not, but they're, they're not yeah, <laughs> them are, are moving. Yeah, them are moving. They've gone like the, um, just like the old school Sharia law and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, they've yeah. gone, like, they yeah. gone like back, back. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. So it's like, obviously, like with um, even like with religion and Christianity and stuff like that. Whether it's seem, whether it's wrong or right, they seem to like they seem to make exceptions over time. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like, they change with the times in society. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like you know what I'm trying to say. So it's just about what what you seem wrong or right in it. Because someone that's super devout or whatever might not feel like how the rest of the people feel in it. You know what yeah. I'm trying to say? It's even with Christianity. Like back in the day, they was telling you that same sex marriage is not is not a thing. And then now the people are doing it in certain churches and the same because yeah. times are changing. It there's certain people who are going to be stuck in their ways and religion is going to say no. That's not. You get know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So with them, obviously it's extremes, but it's, it's their thing, isn't it? I don't really get involved in it. And I think if you don't want it, I think you should just sign out. You know, like just unsubscribe. If like, if it's too much for you now. Man just, said seven day free trial and then unsubscribe. Just, just unsubscribe and leave because at the end of the day, they're just... But this is their livelihood. This is their country. I know, but it's because we're, we're saying and it now. And they're going to move time, to France where yeah, they didn't allow them to... We're saying it now because times have changed, isn't it? And even though... I don't know. It might be a crazy way to look at it, yeah. But at some point, they're saying these were the laws of the land. They're saying this is this whole. This is the way we're supposed to live, and this is what you sort of believe. And but this she is what you said, have yeah, signed up this for. This is not even in her this doctrine. Is, Actually, you're Muslim. No, yeah, no. But what I'm gonna say is, it's not compulsory in Islam for women to cover their face. Yeah, this I is heard an that. extension like, of that's, patriarchy. That's, that's not even a rule. What I believe is, or how I'm interpreting this is, obviously, the Taliban to me are extremists, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And like you said, they will more so follow follow Sharia law and the old school Islamic laws, isn't it? I can understand why an extremist would impose that rule on a woman because it's almost like, um, you know, if you're a serious devout Muslim, you're not even, she shouldn't be even looking at a woman's face who isn't your wife. Is it? Yeah, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be, getting, I shouldn't have eye contact with a woman who isn't your wife or even looking in her direction. What, because of lust how, or? Lust and yeah, stuff like that. Well, how would you know when you want her? What's that? How would you know you want a wife then? What do you mean? Now you got your wife oh no, after that, you got your I, wife. I, you're saying, like, if you've got a wife already. Oh, if you've got a wife. Oh, okay. I thought you but, meant, like, yeah. a single man. You can't look at another woman. No, even that, to be fair. Like, basically, there's, there's a term called lower your gaze. 
Okay. Where you're not but meant I'm to I'm going like, to say that to every man that right. looks at me that I don't like. You ain't to meant continue, to be like, please. you know, looking at women, gazing okay, at yeah. them, looking at their body and hmm. busting over them. You're meant to... Obviously, I don't know all the ins and outs, but I know that's the basic premise. Lower yeah. your gaze, don't you know I mean? So I get the premise of, okay, cool. To promote, you know, this level of, you know, less Lower interaction, gaze, yeah. then covering the face. I get why they put it into place. Even though I think it's wrong and I think it's an extreme ask, I do understand a bit of the history behind it. But you know what's wild though? It sounds as if, yeah, the men can't lower their gaze so they're punishing the women. Yeah. It's, it's like, because basically church sometimes, yeah, I don't know if you've ever experienced this, where yeah, it's right. like, oh, don't wear this, don't wear that, because yeah. you would tempt men. As if the men don't have their own Th- that you, That's your temptation to worry about. Yeah. I don't. I shouldn't have to. I should have to restrict the way I live. Yeah. To, just so that you don't have yeah. lots of thoughts. You're gonna have lots yeah. of thoughts. You wanna have lots of thoughts. Yeah. I'm in a tent or I'm in a in a skirt kind of thing. Yeah. No, but we so gotta work together with at the same time because you're right. But it's like you actively like you're gonna. You the have, issue you're though. You're sexy and voluptuous, and you step around, man, with your fires out. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. not helping the situation. But, but, but the issue is, I'm helping you get stronger. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> fight the fight the <laughs> like, Gym your the, eyes, the boy. Is, a lot of even I remember when I was younger, I used to go to Arabic school and I had one yeah. particular teacher. He was dope in it. And, but he only used to teach boys and they asked him to teach girls mm. and he refused. Okay. Because, and he was, he was extreme. He didn't have a TV in his house. Like he was that extreme in it. Like nothing that was from the West nothing was going to infiltrate his, the world. His, his, mind. his mind or his kid's mind and his household, didn't it? Wow. So he left because he refused to, to teach girls. Yeah. And I think okay. at one point they were like, oh, we can put like a, a tent, a board in front of you. So there's a separation, but he's like, no, that's that. Defeats, that defeats the purpose So he left Does he have doors? I don't know At the point At the time I knew him I think he only, he only had sons My thing with this Is that I do agree I feel like Your vice Or your thing yeah. The point is That you're meant to Create some sort of Control over your temptation yeah. and, and I think that's In Christianity In Muslim And I'm sure it, uh, so in Islam, sorry, and yeah. I'm sure in many other religions as well. Did you say in Muslim? I said in Muslim. <laughs> I said in Muslim. <laughs> in Islam, yeah. But I corrected myself by myself. So guys, it's fine. Yeah, we made mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like that is and my issue, this brings me back to my original issue with the woman, the fact that it's not clearly even in the doctrine, yeah. it feels mm. like it's a personal thing. And I think a lot of religions do this where they make things. To suit them. They, they make things to suit them. And this is where we stop having a religion. Because when you think about relig- what religion is, it's meant your, your relationship with God. Yeah. And now you're... My thing is that I just don't see God allow anybody being happy with someone being forced to subscribe to them in a particular way. That doesn't feel like what God wants. I don't know. Like, I, if I was God, I would want somebody to come to me of their own accord. And it feels like a lot of pressure and a lot of mm. forcing it. It doesn't feel... It can't be genuine if some my boss made me do it. It no, can't I mean, be genuine. That's but it's obviously, like, look, whatever said is said and what's set in stone is set in stone, isn't it? So if you believe, if this is what you believe in, you're saying this, all right, like, cool, I kind of hear you, yeah. But it's like reading the room, in it? Regardless, you got to be mindful of what's going on. If anybody, it doesn't matter, like, it doesn't matter, like, it doesn't really matter what form of, of, of life it is. Yeah? Yeah. Any kind of professional or anything was doing stuff and using like practices from like 100 years ago. Yeah. It's... Yeah, it's, it's old. It's old. It's old. It's For the most part, it get me. Some of them things could things that would seem normal, they would be seen so, so black, barbaric and that. So you got to understand the effect it's going to have on people. No, and I, re- and I respect that. I'm Christian. I, I totally respect that. But for me personally... If they don't like the, the face being covered, if that was something that like they saw Muslim men were having such a big problem with, yeah. listen to the audio, like listen to the Spotify version of the show. Like I just feel like to ask women to cover their face shows a lack of a, a lack of accountability. I'm trying to remember things. Sorry, I actually know girls in this country who used to cover their face actually. And that's fair. That's yeah. you're allowed to but do that's that. What they wanted that's to their choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's I, their think, I, I can't imagine like it's so sad, man. Do you know what? This leads into topic of the day. So let's yeah. jump into that. Brent, go. <laughs> So welcome to the segment called What You Say In. And the topic of the day today is covering faces in public spaces. Hmm. Do you think there should be ever a time where covering faces should be mandatory? Oh, there was COVID. Um, do you think there should ever be a time where covering faces should be banned? And how important are beliefs when it comes to public safety? So I think this is really relevant to France as well, because they have, they're really, I feel personally, I'm going to speak for my terms, they, I feel like they're very disrespectful to Muslims. I feel, I believe they removed the hijab from girls being able to wear the hijabs in school, mm. which is like part of their religion. Yeah. Um, in this country, they're very res- disrespectful. I remember Boris Johnson calling them letterboxes. Yeah. Um, so what is wrong with that, man? Do you want me to start the list? 
<laughs> because nothing <laughs> works. Sis, where do I begin? <laughs> do you know where what I mean? <laughs> but um, so yeah, so let me ask the first question. Should there ever be a time where covering faces should be man mandated? Are you, are you talking about Islamically? Just just being in general. I think Islamically. I think that's related to the last topic. So uh, I think if n- no, I don't know the doctrine. Yeah, and can I just put so. a disclaimer out there because. I'm not the most knowledgeable Muslim in it. Okay. And, he said, don't come to me. No, I know it is. Because I know you all like to tussle. Because I, I I, actually overheard this conversation the other day, actually. I think if you don't know something Islamically, you're not meant to talk, 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 talk about it. it because then you could be spreading false information. Okay. Oh, okay. So I don't that like, sometimes I don't, have to, I don't like to talk on things I don't know. No, you're not But I try my hardest to convey what I believe and what I've been taught and what I yeah. remember in it. So I just want to put that out there. Okay. Because if you're, oh, you're Muslim, you don't know what you're talking about. Um... But yeah, no, I think I don't think it should be it should be compulsory at all. I don't think it should be. As, I'm very like, do you know what? People should do what what it is they want. I don't think it's nice to tell people that they should do something or they shouldn't do something. Mm. I just think each of their own. Like everyone has their own personal convictions, and I yeah. think, and like I've had like Muslim friends who, in like a same circle, I've had Muslim friends who wear hijabs, and then yeah. I've got Muslim friends who don't. Yeah, and I had Muslim friends who wouldn't really go, and once who did, and for them, like what I saw of them was they all. Still believed in God and yeah. fasted and do everything they were meant yeah. to do and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And I think it's just it should really be a personal conviction. And I always feel the same about Christianity as well. Is that like when sometimes people are like, oh, I mean, I do believe that you should dress a certain way to church. I absolutely believe that. But sometimes when people kind of project their ideas on you, and I think it happens so a lot with faith, generation. where people, yeah, they project their their faith and their experience and all that kind of stuff on people. And I don't think it's fair. I think sometimes as well, even with younger people, what you end up doing is. You end up turning them away from the faith, yeah. 100%. Because wh- what you do- what you fail to realize is that you were young once and you've grown to this point in your faith where now you've learned so much of this faith. Where it's like they're trying to prevent you from making mistakes, but sometimes let me walk, let me do my own walk, kind of thing. Yeah. So I don't I don't believe that anything should be like necessary or mm. you must do this or you must not do this. I think each to their own, yeah. and as each person is convicted, because what you might be, what you may be convicted about, you might be convicted about not drinking wine. Yeah. I love a brunch on a Sunday. Yeah. Do you get me? So, and that doesn't mean that my faith is any different to yours. Do you get me? So I think each person should just live the way they want to live. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't think like it's fair it. for um, extremist groups as well to be the ones to Determine. dictate yeah. how it's going. I feel like it's different if it's like the law of the land, but when when it's not, it's not like it's not really the it's not the law of the land. Do you get me? It's not even in, you're claiming to be from you're claiming to be um, dictating something in the best interest of the religion. But there's no receipts in the religion. Yeah. So it makes it... It's difficult. Before you jump in, can I quickly say something? You didn't want to say it, but you said yes. Um, I feel like that has... that When you said the whole doctrine thing really turned somebody off, like... Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, your point. I feel like for me, I only got into my Christianity genuinely later on in mm, life yeah. because there was almost like an ideal of what a Christian should be. Or yeah. what was, and it can really turn someone off because Absolutely. it's like... That's it's not it's that, reason, don't, it's, that's rooted yeah. in your in your convictions or your ways, yeah. and I'm sure there is a standard to be upheld. But absolutely, but you let turn me get away them. a lot of people by not allowing them yeah. to find God genuinely in yeah. themselves. So yeah, I agree with that. You can go now, Yusuf. All right. So according to the oh, not you doing it, Esther. According okay. to the majority of Muslim scholars and Islamic schools of yeah. thought, face veiling yeah is not a requirement of Islam. Those women who who wear the niqab do so in places where they may encounter non. Maharam, that's unrelated men. Okay. So, for example, with with covering your hair, yeah, my sisters can show me their hair. Mm-hmm. It's only when they're around men they're not related to. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's, that's the same thing with the face covering. Women who you know want to practice it, mm. it's around men who are unrelated. Okay. So strangers. It's like a, kind of basically just immodesty. Public, basically. Yeah. yeah. And it's again, it's just to prevent that interaction. Yeah. yeah. Which I. Mean? I I mean, I think it's beautiful. Like, genuinely, I think it's... Like, yeah. my, my my father's Muslim, my mom's Christian. Yeah. But across both sides of my family, women cover their hair. It's mm-hmm. something I'm going to do. Not... I'm still outside, so... Like, later on in life, yeah. <laughs> but You're it's so annoying. It's the, not outside, outside, She's but on the pavement. The so, yeah. right now. <laughs> but, like, I do think it's something that is really beautiful and graceful. Yeah. And I do yeah, think there's I something think really so, beautiful yeah, about graceful. modesty. So, that, that's not my question. Mm. I mean, not that you're saying that. Yeah, you no. know what I mean? But for me, I think when you take further steps to make it easier for someone's Mm. human consideration, yeah. then that's not religion anymore. That's you just trying to control the world as you see fit. Um, I think projecting. Yeah, you're, pro- you're projecting. Like, you you are Taliban people, <laughs> sir. But <laughs> Not sir. <laughs> I don't want to. Respectfully, <laughs> you're wrong. Because these people are not going to protect me. Um, but okay, do you think it should be ever banned? 
Now, I think this is the bigger question here. Like, because a lot of white people are like, I need to see faces. Well, when I say white people, in, in the Western world, um, they're like, I need, it doesn't make sense for me not to see your face if you're my nurse. It doesn't make sense for you. I remember, on the, obviously, on the trains, there were, they had a ton. The world changed after the bombings, right? Like, mm. people immediately became very distrustful. And a lot of people, including Muslims, were like, we get that. But this is our religion. This is what we do. So what are you lot's thoughts on that? Like, should it ever be banned? I don't think it should be banned. I think everyone should be given a choice. Okay. Um, and I think in certain work environments, not banned per se, but there should be... There's no ban. It's just Islamophobia, man. There should be a conversation to be had. So There's no conversation to be had. We just come out of lockdown. I've seen, man, I saw... I've seen niggas walking around 20 deep in Selfridges with balaclavas on up to the eyeballs and no one's not buying an eyelid. It's fine because it's second nature now. Mm. I drive around with my balaclava on all day, pull up next to the police. They don't bother me. Nobody cares. Like, mm. nobody cares. Everybody's face is covered up. Mm. There is no problem. The problem is because what it's attached to. Yeah. You mm. know what I'm trying to say? They're in their business. It's Islamophobia. Literally, that's all it is. They don't care because nobody cares. Like, I, we, we, the last two years, everybody's wrapped up. Every yeah. single person, yeah. everybody yeah. and their dog's wrapped up. We're not seeing, and we're not bothered. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? And we're not G checking everybody and asking, oh, have you got a bomb in your bag and all these fuckeries? Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Everybody's just getting on with life. So it's not an issue. Nobody cares. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? It's just about who's doing it. I think we all agree with that. What, what I kind of was going to say was, in, in terms of like, just say you're working in a certain environment where, mm. you know, showing your face is kind of a part of the job. Like mm. news reporting. I don't know. Wherever it is, I know there's jobs out there where having your face, you know, revealed is essentially a part of, you know, the, the job, isn't it? Yeah. So I that, don't know which jobs. Like, I feel like your face is needed in med. Like, I think news reporting. But even like in, in the offices, I think. Like you, the set, yeah. Right. I, I can't see a place where, I mean, I don't even have a strong opinion either way, I yeah, guess. Yeah. But like, I don't think it should be banned, actually. So that's my opinion. Okay, cool. For example, if, if, you, if you're working on radio. Yeah. You don't have to show your face. Okay. No, but even it doesn't. I mean, like, if, irrespectful of people's religions, even if it's someone that's like front of house, like a receptionist or something like that, if they're wrapped up, yeah, you just you just understand that that person that's their religion. That's their religion. Like you're not gonna. No, no, they're I, just, it doesn't I matter, does it? I mean, but I get what you mean. In terms I, I get of, like, that. If it's like certain places where your face is required. That's not like you, you should yes, have said to that. You keep saying this. Yeah. Like, where, where's that? Do we need that? Like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Where I would think... it be weird if someone's face was covered? Remember, if they're just covering it for no reason, then I hear you. But this, if someone this, clearly, this example, clearly for religious reasons, yeah. This example is perfect. The <laughs> TV presenter. You, no, but that's different because even if you're going to be speaking all day, it's, it's going to like affect you and, and apprehend you, like be covering your mouth and stuff like that. So, like. Maybe if you had a 30 minute segment. No, I mean, for a TV presenter, it would probably be better if her face was being shown, right? That's yeah, what yeah, I'm, but that's saying, just... I'm saying that even if you had a 30 minute segment, yeah. well, however long the segment is, for TV presenting, your face is needed. Yeah, I, I agree. So I, I say you probably got the job because of your face. Yeah, I'm saying it shouldn't be banned. I'm saying yeah, even yeah, no, the, I'm not saying it like even just for like the um, like just the convenience of it all. Like, like they're saying, uh, they're saying like, they're not saying oh we're on TV and we want to see our face. They're saying we're on TV and we're talking all day and our face is covered. It don't make sense. It's not like it's it, it would have makes it like why would it, it's like be sitting here and doing this show all day with my with mask with my mask on. Mm. Like yeah. why would I do that? That, that doesn't make sense. You know yeah. what I'm trying to say? Yeah. It's not about because because they want to see their face. So even right. that. What about jobs that okay? Well, let's just say you took your child to nursery mm -hmm. and a, and the teacher had their face covered. If she was a, a Muslim woman. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. What would it, oh, what would it prove me? No, I'm just asking. I'm just, asking. Daughter, this your this your teacher. Like I don't know. Do you would... do you feel like in terms okay? Cool. I'm leaving my child with someone. You're. I'm going to leave my child in your care. Do you want to see the person you're talking to? I can't see your face. I'm leaving my child. Like, I was thinking about I think, that. I think that's what I was going with it. Okay. Like, do you want to know and do you want to be able to put a face to the person who's with your child? Yeah. I, don't I know. never even I grew, I grew up in I grew up in diverse schools and that. If I go somewhere, if this, this nursery has hired her, yeah. she's clearly capable. Yeah. 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 And they're accepting of, like, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, maybe like, ideally, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, like when you think about it, maybe yeah. okay, yeah, I want to see a face on that. But I'm saying if you walk in there and there's loads of other teachers there, and there's the, yeah, there's all teachers. I'm not just gonna single her out. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no. If, if there's other teachers, like, then it's, it's a group setting, and that, it's this, one of that, three. Then cool. I hear that, but I can't lie to you. I want to see your face. So what would you do? Would you say to her, "Can I see your driver license?" Or would you say, "I'm a woman to a woman"? I just I, I feel like the school like? should have a picture. Just I need to see the picture. Of the I'm person. gonna say these people hired me. Yeah, I got took. In, they have shown in my CV. I have done an interview. Yeah, and you're telling me. You're not going to be cool. But she's not. But no, no, but just, like, I, I hate to be dark with it, but there are women in hospitals, nurses, schools that abuse crimes. kids. Yeah. No, no, I hear that. So I'm saying, how I definitely need to know I'm saying, how's that who my child is. So you walk your child into the school, mm -hmm. there's bare teachers there, one of them's got a hijab on, and you go, oh, so, hey, babes, one sec. 
Taylor off, Taylor off, no, nah. No, no, no. I, to just, I wouldn't, just no, I wouldn't say that because that's insensitive quickly. to her. Yeah, well, but I would speak to, I would speak to her teacher. Like, can I see a picture of the of the teacher that is my child's teacher? For me just to because, know who. So I need to know. I'm sorry, but God forbid my child is kidnapped. I need to know who moved also, on the high also, street. Also, also, I love my Well, you're not going to know because she's going to be wrapped up on the high street. Oh, no, but still, oh, I still want to be true. able to be like, this is... No, that's, that's fair enough here, but I, I'm sorry, but I can't leave my child somewhere and not see who is behind, who, who I'm leaving my child with. That's Can so, I be honest? No, I think, supposed so when you first... Even people's faces I'm seeing, I don't want to leave first, my child with you. How much more? When you first mentioned it, yeah, I was mm. like, so what? Like, I wouldn't care. Mm. But I do feel like if something happened, like, I don't know, if something happened, yeah. it, it just came up on my mind that, yo, I don't, I don't know what your don't teacher know looks what like. What my child's teacher what my looks like. Looks like. Yeah, that you know would I mean? be something that I would have to really sit with and yeah. think, how am I going to approach this? Because I don't want to be disrespectful, but it's my child. And I'd rather, be, teacher, right? I'd rather be fully knowledgeable about my child's yeah. environment than to be polite. But yeah. I don't think that would be the first that came to my mind. I think I would be like, oh, okay, go to Miss, you know, whatever yeah. surname or whatever it is. I don't think it would be, the, but if something happens where that stirs my spirit, mm. yeah, Esther, I feel yeah. like now I have to sit down and think, how am I going to approach this? And it'll be, do you know what's mad? If nobody in the school knows what she looks like. Like if the head teacher is a man, doesn't know what she looks like, the people that interviewed her could ask her to take off her jab. That is a that is a lawsuit waiting to happen. When you think about it, it's possible that nobody in that school knows. No, I'm sure. This is, I'm this, sure. Is I'm stigma, sure. this is the stigma that's going around because if she's part of the faculty, yeah, yeah. Do, what's the problem? No, but do, you know how many, do, you, do you know how many people no, are but, hired and trusted with children? But you, and that, that you can't Madison's. trust them, and you can see them that like, doing matters, and you can see their faces. Yeah, like. I th- I'm saying she's part of the faculty. Yeah, yeah she's been. She's. I mean, there. That's you don't question none of the teachers. Yeah, no, that's not enough. Point, you know what I'm trying to say. Point, but the only reason why he's not. No, I can't. Reason, at that's not. Did. No, but probably didn't. No, we, we don't know did. that it did. Did, 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 did. And that's what I'm saying. Show me a picture then. What's it got to do? <laughs> no, I, I, I get, can't. Don't get me wrong. I pop because I, I kind of hear where you're coming from. I, like, I, yeah. But I'm just saying. There are too many. There's too many children that are left in trusted care of adults, and it goes wrong. And also for me. Just because you've been hired and they check your CV and all that kind of stuff, that I'm sorry, but that's and what they've done. If it was a done, random woman, if it was a babysitter, it if it was trust. an old pair or something like that, someone that that you're pulling in, it's like, all right, cool. I need to have a personal relationship. I get what you're saying, but I just need to see you and so and, and also, and also but do you know how much, how much you time kids spend in, spend in school? Sorry, guys, you guys are forget. Remember, they're covering their face from men. Oh, so women will Not see that. Women. I'm a woman. Yeah. So this woman, she, I'm a woman. This woman, this, this woman that we're discussing, she could have been interviewed by another woman. Yeah. So she. And that's have... how she got the job. You know what I'm trying to say? So I remember, feel like it's only it, men. Here's my thing. I think because I actually, as a black woman, as somebody who in certain times are like is marginalized and that, yeah, I think I'm hi- highly appreciative of the difficulty somebody who's different is always going to have to go through. So yeah. a part of me wants to be polite because I want their life to not feel like they're defined by this difference. Yeah. However, I think what when you asked that question to Esther, it didn't land at first, mm. but it's like, yo, sometimes we, we're we so scared of being impolite that we don't do what feels natural to us. And mm. if Esther wants to see the, the faces of all her, t- of her kids' children, her ch- children, sorry, and um, she does see nine of them, but there's only one, she might, she might just be like, I don't know the best way to approach this. I'll figure out the best way to approach this, but I need to feel like I know who my kids are. Yeah. But I don't think that's a weird thing. Kids are big, they're treasures, right? Mm. So I don't think that's weird. Um, but I just never thought about it. And do you know what's weird? Because I know Esther's heart, I know it would never come from like, a malicious place. Mm. But if you were like, those people with like a bit of your know, Islamic phobe, Islamophobic, yeah. them asking, that they just would be berating the woman. I've seen it before. Now we need, to see, we need to see your fucking face. Like we need to see your fucking All right, face. All right, cool. So, so that feels... Like you're saying, and they're hiding it from men and that. Yes, even as a woman, that's something that you can sort out. You can see her face. Yeah, but then what happens if a man comes in with your attitude? Say again? What happens if a man comes in with your attitude that yeah, I need to see her face? Kind of I'll be honest with you When kids are involved And you're thinking of my child Then my child can move classes then I can't lie to you My child will move classes then Because the teacher wears a hijab No because I can't no, see no, the teacher's no, face Because I'm respecting No no it's not that Don't put that myself Thank yeah, you Brennan yeah. Brennan yeah. idea Because <laughs> Because, <laughs> because teacher... I'm respecting your religion And me respecting your religion Means you can't show me, show me your face And my Belief. beliefs Is that I need to see, I need to know who is thinking of my child So the compromise is that my child moves to another class? Are you, and so I don't have to... Are you worried about what that that's, would teach that, your child? Yeah, that causes... That's Absolutely like, not. That causes... Because like you're going to explain to them. I'm going to explain to them. I'm going to explain... I'm, it's not coming from a, a place of um, no, Islamophobia. No, I'm saying this to my child. Like, it's not yeah. coming from a place of hate. It's coming from a place of I'm protecting my child. I'm protecting my child. So for me, that trumps everything. Sorry. Hey, man, do you have a point? Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, do you feel like that kind of translates to how adults feel in public spaces then? With people with... Um, face coverings Like for example In no. France the, Everyone's saying yeah. I don't want to be around people Who've got face coverings I don't know I need to feel protected No Because that goes back to, I know that was, I, was, I know you're asking Esther So say mm. about that um, That goes back to what Marg said Because 
but you, when you really think about it, before COVID, uh, Asians were covering their face. Like I don't know if you saw like China. Yeah, I, I, I the they were ahead they of time. They were covering their face, and they never got the stick that um, Muslim people got. And I feel like it's because of what it was attached to. Mm-hmm. And when people, Esther's talking about her child, it's very specific where she's decided to value her comfort regarding the self, the self safeguarding of her child over being polite. These people, I'm in a pub. I have every right to be here. I'm not taking anything from you. You have no right to know yeah. what, like to me, that's the same as being homophobic or whatever, because you're deciding to concern yourself with stuff that's not your concern. So I'm, I think that's very different. I'm not, I'm not saying like either or, like either or, but I'm basically saying like what, your reasoning to me doesn't sound any different though. I think it sounds really different. Do you know, because, I mean, I, I, because your child's in space, you want that child to feel protected. Yeah. There's people with face coverings. You're an adult in a particular space. You want to feel protected. You want to know who's around you. Yeah. There's people with face coverings. Why is your child's one okay? Well, sorry, but sorry, I think this is, where the pro- this, is where, this is where the problem starts in, like where them, the, the, all them stigmas and that are attached to yeah. You just assume that, ev- that the teachers that and often these people have done their job. You know what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say? Like, when you go in there, you don't go through individually and go see all the staff and check their rings and you, mm-hmm. and you still care about the safety of your kid. But you just assume that every teacher there is, mm-hmm. is, 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 is correct and is right. You get know what I'm trying to say? And in, even in them situations, they've got a duty of care to the kids. There's going to be situations where people still abuse that. And blah, blah, blah. But for the most part, teachers do, do their job in it. You don't question it. So now... The only thing that's going to make you question this one teacher is because of what they're wearing and mm-hmm. stuff like that. That is still a bit problematic. But she's, isn't but it? she's saying even because if it wasn't no, a Muslim, no, even before if you got there, yeah, you should, why haven't you assumed that the whole sport and the whole teachers things have done their due diligence to make sure that these teachers are correct, mm. regardless of what they're wearing and what they're but doing? You said, this is their job. Fl- Esther said it could be. But a flag this is the only one that you're face. onto because if it's wrapped up. No, no, but Esther doesn't you. care. The na- sorry, I don't mean to speak for no, you, but no. Esther's not saying it, it doesn't have to be a veil. It could be a flag. It could be anything. Esther's just saying. Is important to me no, on top that, of offset. That wouldn't make sense if he was wrapped up in a flag. That's not. No, I'm not no saying a flag. I'm no trying to that. say the problem is not what she's wearing. It's not what she's the fact wearing. That she can't see her face. Yeah. Because I'll be honest, yeah. I would say the way I'm wired them. anyway, right? The way I'm wired, and I know I'm, I'm going to be as a parent. My teacher, my kids' teachers, I'm going to be doing my own searches on them <laughs> outside of this. And I believe I'm looking at your like, absolutely. I, I do this. I do this with people that are, don't even mean anything to me. How much mm. more someone is thinking of my child? So I'm going to do it anyway. But my me wanting to see your face is not because. Of what you're wearing or anything like that is the fact that you're taking care of my offspring. Mm. I need to, I need to see a face. And then to answer your question, mm-hmm. the thing is, I can understand if people feel uncomfortable or whatever it is. I feel like everyone should have a right to feel the way they want to feel. I don't feel like because people, um, because of the way someone feels, makes someone else uncomfortable or can be interpreted in some some way is automatic hate. Mm. My issue, so if you have a problem with people that cover their faces up and all that kind of stuff in public and you want to stay away, I think you can do that. Mm-hmm. But my issue with, with that, where I start to say that it's Islamophobic is when you start spewing hate. Okay. So if you feel uncomfortable, so that means as well, if you see someone by the club or whatever, mm. their face covered up or they've got mask on and they've got a hat on and you walk away, generally that makes you uncomfortable and that's fine. Mm-hmm. But if it's towards a specific group of people yeah. and then you not only, because I'm very big on moving in silence. So if you move away in silence or whatever, you don't make a scene, that's fine. But then if you're moving away and you're making a big deal about they shouldn't be allowed to do that, then that I would say is rooted in hate. Do you I, get I what I mean? Like I'm not trying to put like push it back on you No that's all, fine all, all I'm pretty much saying is that Like you're going to get situations Where in any proper Let me not say proper But any type of um, occupation Like taking care of kids Yeah No one's going to be Covering their face Except for religious purposes Yeah And so if you're kind of saying I want my child to be out of that class Because this person has A particular uh, yeah. face covering It does seem that particular way It mm. seems that way But my But for me That is me being respectful That is me That is me not making you uncomfortable Asking you to take off your Um your cover, your cover. Okay, okay. You're saying so. You know, it's, like, that, that, it's a compromise. Just, yeah. So yeah, it's okay. it's me understanding that this is your religion. This is what you this is what you do. Yeah, but even and still, so the actions when still, I have a parent, yeah. why did you move yeah. the kid out of yeah. class? No, but oh, the thing because... is, and that's, that's fair enough. I'll be honest with you. I'll be so honest with you yeah. when it comes to my child. I don't flipping care how it comes across. <laughs> yeah, course, you think but I'm, no one cares whatever, as well. And this is what that's fair enough. This is what these people use, isn't it? Like you're saying, this thing is my safety. So that's my own safety, my family safety. Where no one cares. Everybody puts their own. Puts their own self no, first. No, but, so no, but this, wait, 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 wait. Let me tell you the difference. The difference behave between how me, they're behaving. The difference between me and those people is that those people are, are, are saying they should be, they should take off their things. They're, they're saying they should take off their cover. I'm saying you don't have to take off your cover. I understand and respect your religion. But what I'm saying is that to, for my peace of mind, wait, for my peace of mind, I'm going to move my child. So yeah, no, there's a difference in the way that I'm reacting and what I want and what they want. 100%. And you're not, you're, not, you're not the same as them. There's definitely differences yeah. between you. You're not the same as them. But the, slim, the similarities is that you both think you're right 
and they both have, and it has, and it's having the same, it's the same result. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I'm and saying? And that's fair enough, but I, I'll be honest with you, I don't see why I should, I should, um, I should not be, I should not be in a place of peace knowing I'm leaving my child because of your religion. All right, so I don't get it. Um, Yusuf, um, you said that women um, show other women their face, right? They're yeah. allowed to do that. Yeah, yeah. So there's not an issue here. No, we're talking about if it was a man. If it was a so man. If I was a man, I was so dead. You, you can't be arguing for the man's case, though, right? I mean, it was hypothetical. What happened to hypotheticals? You know what it is, Brent? In an open environment, <laughs> in an open environment, she's not going to be like, hey, Esther, and lift up a veil. Like, she's no, going to no, keep no, it covered. Yeah, that's yeah. why she says you go to her teaching and everything. And then, then Ma- maybe the man will just get a female relative of his. I yeah, don't know. 100%. But I just yeah. feel like, yeah, I mean, it's just a difficult thing to navigate, but we have more things to report on. So let's head to Australia. Yeah, we head to Australia. Guys, we keep it international over here. Do you know what I mean? So you take flights if I even have to pay for a ticket. So Anthony Albanese becomes Australia's prime minister. Yesterday, Al- Anthony was sworn in as Australia's 31st prime minister alongside four new Labour ministers. Mr. Albanese's Labour Party defeated Scott Morrison's conservative government in an election on Saturday. It remains unclear whether Mr. Albanese will form a majority or govern with the support of crossbenchers. Can I ask what that means? Crossbenchers. Just for the people, because I know what it means, but... <laughs> it's rival man Opposition parties man, whatever. Don't yeah. tell me of intelligence Okay <laughs> Anyway It is Australia's first Labour government In almost a decade The party has won 72 lower house seats But count And but counting continues to determine whether they can get the 76 needed to form a majority. However, the primary vote for both major parties fell. Almost a third of Australians put the Greens, Independent and other minor parties as their first preference. Much like this country, right? Or the no, trend that so. we're This is what we were saying should happen in should this country. Should happen. Okay, yeah. so not TDA predicting the future. So sorry, guys. <laughs> um, climate change played a huge role in the election's results with a surge in support for candidates wanting urgent action. Mr. Morrison's government has committed to a 2030 emission reduction target of 26 to 28%. About half of that, um, the U... Oh, sorry, about half that of the UK and the US. Mr. Albany's government has a target of 43%. So there you go, guys. Some international news. Any thoughts on that? Um, I was waiting for the penny to drop. I was thinking, why was that relevant? So, <laughs> <laughs> I, was just, I was waiting for the for the chairman there that, <laughs> I, that I needed to know. Australia's and, uh, a big nation. Exactly, Australia's a big nation, and we know how passionate you guys feel about climate change. So we thought we'll keep you updated. Okay. Um, I just have a question, oh, yeah. and I hope you don't sound silly. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not good at geography, so I just don't want people to laugh at me. But, um. Like how comes they've got Labour and Conservative over there as well? Aren't they an extension of us? Aren't they our sons? They're English people. They're, yeah. They're, they're they're the yeah, exactly. They sent all the criminals They sent all the, the madness. They sent all the criminals from Britain to Australia. And that's, um, so yeah, they pretty much have... No, do you know what's sick? Yeah, a lot of the people that they sent over there, the, the sentences and the conditions that they got is to rebuild in... Australia. In Australia. Like, you have to go and do your time. Okay. When you finish, you have to you have to live and stay in Australia. Yeah. And you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, the, the, the whole foundations is, of that whole place is, is Do you is know what this tells me? Like, this just tells me, then, that my idea for the... Um, <laughs> perfect, the pedophiles. The pedophiles. <laughs> <laughs> We can actually But do, do you it. know what happened? They killed the Native Americans out there. It was massive genocide. You just made it dark. Even Sorry. Though, no, <laughs> even, even though there would have been yeah. even though there would have been pedophiles and distasteful people wrapped up in it, yeah? Yeah. Like it wouldn't it doesn't have the same effect. So Australia now is a mm. respectable nation. Knowing that it's built from criminals of England and stuff like that doesn't really do anything. But if it was just like pedophiles, if it was just like, yeah, it was like yeah, a yeah, nation yeah, yeah. that just, was just, built just, off like yeah, but it's not, it's not pedophiles. Gonna go on I, I holiday. think internationally they might be yeah, yeah. shunned or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. How no, but it like, would... it's not somewhere they were going to go on holiday. Like, no one cares what happens over what, there. What if they become uh, like a very powerful nation? Like yeah, Australia. which I feel like they would. If we, if we let them. But we, <laughs> listen, <laughs> this this um directionless world, uh, listen, um yeah, also, can we one day do a, like a, a story about Native Americans, please? Because that's, it's so interesting. Mm. Thank you very much. Also, um, I know, like, before people start talking, it's not Native <laughs> Americans that were killed. You oh, just mean Aboriginals. the Natives. Exactly, yeah. I love Sorry, you know how people will be. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aboriginals. I don't know if our audience would have picked that out, but thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. So, like, Tasmanians. Oh, Aboriginals. Like so, that. Native yeah. Americans Abby obviously who? in America. I thought, Aboriginals. I, 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 Aborigines. Aborigines. Yeah. Aborigines. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I don't understand. Someone getting a word or two wrong because now I'm on you for the rest of the- You better not talk. <laughs> you better not talk. Let's I go. Said Aboriginals. Listen. I mean, oh, that's so funny. One, one last thing, actually. You're killing me. Sorry. <laughs> you're, you're killing me. My G, you're killing me. Now, I was just going to say, Albanese is pretty much kind of has the same sentiments as some of you in here. He wants to get rid of the queen as the head of state. 
in Australia. First of all, isn't the whole world? Doesn't the whole world want to do that? I think the whole world is dropping the queen, the monarchy. This, this country doesn't want to do it. They need to. But well, this country. No, but this is her This is her country. I'm, I don't think we should yeah, bother but... her, man. She's in her retirement phase. Leave her. Mm. But I'm saying, other words, I, I see a tour of countries dropping. Yeah, yeah I guess you're right. Quite a few recently. Mm, yes, yeah. so I feel like that's not surprising. I think she's even... Okay. I don't think she... Is, she, is it going to affect her money? Probably. Not yeah. significantly, though. What, a couple million? She'll be fine. Right. Um, okay, cool. So let's go to the next headline for... Mm. I saw this coming, by the way. <laughs> I was pretty, you're a menace. All right, cool. Father of two leaves wife for Ukrainian ref- um, refugee. Defund the males. Father of two, <laughs> Tony Garrett, age 29, dumped his partner of 10 years for his Ukrainian refugee girlfriend after she came to stay with them for 10 days after fleeing the war, torn, live. Might as well. Come be, on, be energy. Be, right. Both right. Oh, Thank you, King. <laughs> um, Mr. Garrett, who lives in Bradford, West Yorkshire, said he has fallen in love with his new girlfriend, Sophia Kirkadiam, and went to sp- and wants to spend the rest of his life with her. Sophia said she fancied Tony as soon as she saw him and that the pair are living their very own love story. The new couple are currently living with Tony's mother and father, but are looking for a property to move into. The now single mother, Lorna Garnett, Garnett yeah, expressed her anger and disappointment, saying she was left heartbroken. Not her doing a Khloe Kardashian. She mm. believes Sophia set her sights on Anthony from the start and decided that she wanted him and she took him because Anthony was a he was an innocent bystander in all of this. She added she didn't care about the dev- she didn't care about the devastation that was left behind. Everything I knew has been turned on its head in the space of two weeks. Lorna told the newspaper she had reservations about the scheme but felt it was the right thing to do after seeing the terrifying situation in Ukraine on the, in the Ukraine on the news. Undoubtedly, she must wish she went with her gut feeling and refused to entertain the scheme. I need pictures of all parties involved. No, there are pictures. Let's see. Is that picture? I don't. I shall supply. So you need pictures. Please. You can see that's his type anyway So it's calm But you know it was 10 days Before he left his missus Do you know what I just think yeah, I just think this UK Is the most unserious nation It's EastEnders Like They're meant to be housing There's some serious things going on And this is what we're doing A 10 day last 10 days And apparently the kids like her as well Oh so I'm not gonna lie, the dude is not, not like attractive. Bad vibes, you know? I feel like in this space with this audience. Who, who's more attractive? Sophia or I'm not participating the in the objectification the of women. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's a new thing. Bum, bum. At the bottom. Both. Oh, both, both okay. of them. There's news, it's all things media. Not thing. And then the wife. The mother of his children, you know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> y'all make me Where sick. Okay. The sickest. I'm sick of y'all. Smallpox. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I, don't know. I think it's the wild story I saw this coming I said this I saw this coming I saw this coming You saw this coming from what? From when they from announced when the whole Putin scheme? When announced it 100% I told you from when that brother was going crazy like because he's waiting for his Ukrainian <laughs> thing and she didn't come yet and he was saying like yo oh, yeah. where's, where's my John? Like, you get me? You knew it was over That's oh. his wife there Okay And that's a, oh. that's and that's a new, new babe Okay There's not much between them That's it That's it I think, mm-hmm. It's just blonde and It's just fr- fresh Apparently the kids like her Apparently the kids like her as well. He's he, he's yeah, he's, like he's giving me. Uh, Did you say? You feel, no, vibes, guys, like no. Oh, no. You said you feel like what? Nothing. <laughs> what did you say? He said I. F- he said he looked at her and he said I feel like drug abuse. Who to the new thing or the old thing? To the old thing. Oh, his wife. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she does look like a bit of like all of them stoners. That's stoners is not a bad word. Yes, yeah. it's just weird. I just, I think, but just, I, I just think Koina is shocked that you know I she, she said the story and this the angle that you guys. What angle would you like us to take? A more serious angle. <laughs> no, for you, to, <laughs> this is bad. For you, Say no this cheating. Is <laughs> Like, what do you mean? Love is love. Why do you always try to disrespect people's loves? You're not talking about cheating. If just because someone like. I don't understand why we're not allowed to live our truth, man. Marks is Monday. No, let's have it right. Like, I look, I thought I loved you. It's not I don't. I met her, yeah. It's only been 10 days. 10 and I days. love her more than I love is you. Is it love Clearly. or is it that you're bored? No, it doesn't it's, matter. It's, Listen, it's a new it's, toy. It's for sure. Look, it's not. Look, you don't don't <laughs> don't, me. don't diminish don't diminish his feelings. 10 bro. days. Are you telling bro, me? Bro, that's how he knows it's real. It took me all these years and I don't love you like I love her. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So now I've got to be unhappy here and not live my truth. This it's, is what I've got to do. It's so embarrassing. Live your okay. truth, but not for the Ukrainian refugee. It's so embarrassing. I don't know why you don't went silent after I said that. It's no, no, no. Because no. <laughs> it made you seem like I said something you're, bad. You're, you're <laughs> headless. You're still... <laughs> he said, not again. 
No, but like, you see what that? What did you even say? I was a Ukrainian refugee. You know, it's for bare silent. I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see that? Stuff, stuff like this happens all the time. Like, not even to like be funny. He's yeah, sat up. He's sat up. Say like, he um, sees. you hey, know, no, look, because you were saying he would go in Castle Moya. Yeah. Say like Castle Moya. Yeah. <laughs> like, I see you as a vilified man for going in Castle Moya and falling in love with yeah. But I'm saying like, because you loved me before you went. What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, but now, but like, when you know better, you do better. Like, shit done change, isn't it? You know what I'm trying to say? No, but it's like, me I don't and, understand. Me and Mark's actually going to fight during Love Island. I, I can't love it. How come, how come man's getting vilified and I'm a, he's a dog and he's dis? Do you know why? Like, no. Okay, can I, can I, I tell I you built a connection. I like this Esther, can I tap in? Of course you can tap in, yeah. What do you want me to do? Okay, can I tap so, in? So, you want me to sit there and be depressed and go back to this can knowing I tap in? that my heart belongs This is here. the issue. This is the issue. This is the issue. This is what you want me to do? This is the issue. Your heart belongs there. Your dick belongs there. That's what you want to do. Like Castle Moore, the problem is these guys are too jumpy. You gave mm-hmm. your heart. This is we've been here for ten days in in, in Love Island mm-hmm. Villa. You now said, no, nah, no, my head ain't gonna be changed. It's not gonna be. Too, you're my type on paper. Like this man also married this woman. It's not the same, but I'm saying they made <laughs> commitments. Yeah, to for your head to be shaken, it means you don't know you. Like what's what's wrong with you? Your no, head was. It means, it means your, I don't know. I don't. I don't you know, know what I don't. What's the Love Island term? term? Mm-hmm. Your like, head turned. Your head turned. Turn, yeah. How's your head? T- the things that let me be real. Let me be real. This family just. I'm going to do assumptions, yeah? Mm. They don't seem like the kind of family that I would assume are civil, like, not civil, like, they care about bare initiatives and shit. So this, I feel like this man engineered this situation. <laughs> I think he looked for his type, yeah, yeah. on the Ukraine directory. Yeah. And he found this woman, oh, and she's by herself. She doesn't have a husband. All right, cool. I, I'm happy to, 10 days. I can imagine they immediately looked at each other and the woman's intuition said, this is a problem. She, and that's why they were beefing because this is what happened, yeah? yeah? It wasn't included in this, but they had an argument. So her and the girl had an argument and she said, you have to leave my house. Then the husband said, if she's leaving, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Yeah. Yeah. A blonde Scandinavian bird walks into my house. You're talking about intuition. <laughs> Ukrainian. Oh, oh, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> what intuition? And this is why you should have threesome. Like, a blonde Scandinavian this is, this bird. Is ever, this is episode one of why you shouldn't have threesomes unless you're ready for your relationship to do different uh, honestly. things. Honestly. Because you can't open the door. It will not close behind you. I want you to understand that. Do it with him. But anyway, guys, so Pretty Patel is to blame for this. Um, hold, on, been, hold on, do we think that that woman is out of his league? Looks in the looks department. Do you think, I'm indifferent to these people. Do you think he's he's punching a bit? No, no, nah. no. He's got to stay in this country. That naturally makes him. And also, do you think she's using him? Doesn't matter. Mm. Doesn't no, matter. I'm, I'm asking, do you think she's using him? However, I don't know. I don't he's know. using her as well. So transaction. He's definitely, she's definitely. I don't think he's using her. Rights. He's leaving his whole family for her. But he's not. Yeah, but he's, he's, not, he's using her for He's, he's not a good looking guy, though. He's not a not good looking guy for this audience. I feel like he's okay. But do you believe. And that's why I hate, you know, like. She's just doing green card right now. I think No, she might actually be attracted to him. Like I said, he's not a hard sell. She's attracted to him. She's a Ukrainian refugee. Tell me she's not. There isn't a play behind this. There isn't a play behind this. But he's on his own. He's going to lock you up. She's going to be pregnant soon. He's going to. So he's gonna just tie that one down. All that Lorna can expect, she wants her Lorna's the wife, yeah. Right. All that Lorna can expect yeah, is that this woman is a headache, and after ten days, you don't actually know her, and that this decision you made, you're yeah, no, no, this, that's the only no, he was obviously bored of his old thing, so now he's got a new. Of course, thing he, of course, he was bored. That don't know nothing. Like, yeah, that he's patterned up. It's, it's, like, it's a fit. It's a, like a, it's a, it works. It was a good do you think they fucked like, before the ten days? Uh, I don't think Lorna would have left. I'm I, saying Lorna. I, I, think they're I think I think Lorna was very trusting and thought she was a poor helpless woman. No, she didn't. And she would have gone to work and all that kind of stuff. Oh shit! And Uncle was getting it down. Oh shit! Was bumping hips. Oh shit! Sorry, Lorna. But, but Lorna, guess Lorna what? Ca- you also can ha- invite a Ukrainian into your houses, so you get your date mm-hmm. on. First of all, got to look up. What's it called? This is not Ukrainian mingle. We're not going to do this. <laughs> About all the one. No. All right, guys. It's just wild. The next thing, yeah. Tory MP accused of using date rape drug. A senior conservative... We're not even shocked anymore. We, we report on the parliament the same way we report on smallpox. And I'm scared too. Um, a senior conservative MP is accused of spiking four people with date rape drugs, including two fellow MPs. El, um, el- allegation... You laugh? Oh, you laugh. Mm. Allegations are said to be swirling in Westminster that the male politician used the substance on another Tory MP who woke up to find his nipples being licked. <laughs> I'm going to let everybody sit with that. This is what they're doing whilst children can't eat food in schools. Esther, laugh. Lay it out. No, I can't. <laughs> people like that, though, you know. That's a thing for Hold a lot on, of people. Hold on, so he, did you unbutton his top? I'm guessing. Well, I don't think he peeped through, um, Yusuf. I think he would have unbuttoned so it. I don't think he this. rolled it up. <laughs> right, just unbutton. Like, yeah, wild. like a creep. That's wild. It claims a Labour, a Labour MP... We need names, by the way. It claims a Labour MP was also targeted, while the flatmate of another Conservative MP has also come forward 
to friends as an alleged victim. A fourth man says he rejected the attacker's advances and later came to suspect his drink was laced. Rumours that an MP has used date rape drug first emerged in 2017, although no formal complaint was made. More than 50 MPs have faced investigations into alleged inappropriate behaviour in just four years since 2018. Who are we electing? Imagine waking up from a nap <laughs> and some Depends man on is sucking on your nipple. Okay, yeah, no consent. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's wild, man. <laughs> I'll tell you that, Matt. It doesn't depend on who. You need consent. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody should wake up to somebody Save sucking their nipples. Save your chest. <laughs> no, nobody should, nobody should have surprise nipple sucks. Um, it should what all be planned. Hell? Not surprise nipple sucks. <laughs> it should all be planned. No, but you're, you're, can your man? Can my man surprise nipples? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> You see the way I'm. It's a very mm. good question. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And then no, no. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping into the we next really set now, <laughs> and they love us. <laughs> I think you, you and your person should communicate. You have clearly. an You know what I like. Yeah. Do you believe that your man has given you autonomy, like he's given you complete consent to do whatever you want at any given time? No, no, of okay. course not. I that. Do you know how many guys get annoyed when you touch their bum? Like when you smack their bum while they're like making you breakfast or something? They hate that. Why would you want to smack man's bubble while he's making breakfast? Because I feel powerful. No, I'm joking. That's why he hates it. No, that's why he hates it. But yeah, surprise. Do you guys like surprise nipple socks? I, don't even, I, don't I feel know. like you're into it. You know what? My nipples are not sensitive. I man. can't. Because of all the muscles. I don't really feel anything about nipples at all. So, well, <laughs> you can <see> your chest. <laughs> like, fucking my nipples is a, is a, is a non starter. It's a non starter. I think, I think men what about you? Nothing happens. Are weird. Really? No, there are lots of guys like that. Lots I remember. Of guys, lots of guys, um, guys are weird. Yeah, they're mentioning it. Lots of guys are weird. Weirdos. I don't Any man, I'm telling you that now. Any Except man. Have you ever had your nipple sucks? Um, yeah. And you didn't, you didn't like it? You? No. Was, like, like, it does nothing your face. What did you do? Like, did you just push the girl's head away or do you just let her finish? I don't even know. I can't remember. One <laughs> time, it was true. Yeah, it was trauma. One time I was just dying inside. <laughs> like, it was horrible. <laughs> and obviously, I didn't want to like... You gotta be. You gotta stay in it. Yeah, like you gotta be. You, know, you gotta be like wary of people's feelings. Don't wanna like. You know what I'm trying to say? Like you're, you're, Not you're loving. Not caring it. about someone's feelings <laughs> now. Know, you're clearly dying for it. <laughs> dying <laughs> for it. <laughs> yeah, you were asking for it. Yeah, so I'm gonna let you have your moment. But I felt horrible. I wanted to shower afterwards. Bro, <laughs> for my age. Yeah, it's just I just don't understand man that do that. Oh even, my god! Even like, that's because your nipples are not sensitive. No, but if someone, yeah. even the optics. Like, what's man? Do? So man, so man had laying there with guys sucking their nipples, and what are they doing? She's not. She probably. <laughs> what, I mean, what's going on here? What is? What is happening here? Just, you know, grab a one two cheek or whatever. Then grab a it's, waist. No grab man. Something, I, look, I feel, honestly, honestly, I think that's weird shit. Like, that's well, now weird. you've told everybody, so nobody will ever try that with you ever again. Yeah, but I don't think no one should even try it in their spare time. Like, no one should just do <laughs> in it in their spare time. <laughs> no. all, recreationally, should be sucked. No, no, I'll be, I'll be no, honest. Like, if, men, men should suck nipples. Like women's yeah. nipples need to be sucked, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> the other way, roll reverse. I just think it's, I just think it's crazy. Can I just say it's funny how Esther chooses to tap in and tap out of this conversation. Look, I just I just want you to know, Esther, we know the truth because you'll be saying these little things here and there. Oh wow! And it gives that. us insights. Brent, put the music on. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to do this to me. I'm just finding it interesting. I just think you shouldn't kink shame. But yeah, same. I feel like in yeah. the same way people, people look same, at. Same, same. Um, I learned so much about Esther by what she doesn't say. You know, I learned so much about her. No, no, I'm not asking second nipples. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe I think sucking, I'm just saying sucking that nipples is not like a it's not a big crazy thing. thing. Yeah, but I'm just saying what about licking nipples? A what? What's this? Licking it's the same thing. Licking sucking nipples. Well, nah, I don't different. understand why girls want to do that to men. Because what she's doing is because if she's kissing down, this is what I heard. What she when she's kissing down <laughs> your chest here, or lick, she might just think, oh, I've just done the turn. Oh, no. <laughs> hello, I just see there. And then <laughs> this is gonna be up. I hate him so much. <laughs> and why you say it? I'm not saying anything. Why do you think that is? Who <laughs> do you think that's because of? You know it's what? Not a safe oh, space. I'm forgetting that. It's not a safe space. Because you know man. what? When, 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 like, when <laughs> Brent is like a child, yeah. If Brent is quiet for too long, long yeah, you know he's up to exactly. no good. Make no, it anyway. No, 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 so why are you guys out here thinking I'm I'm being suspicious? I'm looking at my in my spare time. He likes his nickel, this nipple. Is this is it. This man's calling me a weirdo. This man's calling me a weirdo. Red, red, stop, red. Red, like, what's the matter with for? Many a time. <laughs> that he likes his nipple. <laughs> to me and Gina, that he loves his nipple suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My nipples are mad sensitive. Oh man! When you be talking about against your employer, that's what you're pronouncing it. That's all right. You're gonna have a pay cut, boy. Nipple, you know what? You might be on probation. Week two. 
No, it's not that bad. It's all right. Guys, but but let's just clarify, yeah. Nothing should be done without consent because we were talking about something very, very mad just a second ago. Yeah. Just, oh, yeah, 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 I think true. we're just sick of the Tories. And yeah, the we bullshit. are. Like, I just want to say, it's Labour just... hasn't been found in one of these rigmar holes. Let's wait for them to come in power first. <laughs> then true. Every, That's true, though. Why is it always the Tories, though? Because they're, they're in power, power at the moment. They're trying to ruin them. You don't have, ruin their reputation. You don't when have Labour comes, if you're a loser. When Labour comes on, watch all the stories now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. Um, guys, but let's jump into one of our favorite segments ever. Well, I'll tell you who's second nipples. Um, a new married couple, um, Courtney Kardashian and Tra- Travis Barker. Because I'm just talking amazing. about this. Again? She looked amazing. She's eh? stunning. I think a short dress might be a lick, you know. Do you know what? I just want a fashion kind of dress. We've already spoke about it. Something yeah, but the reception iconic. short, but the wedding, you want to go with a fashion dress. But would not like do, a. Would you do trumpet or would you do ball gown? Oh, not ball gown. Is that ball, ball gown's the Cinderella? Type? The Cinderella no, team. No, I'm not that. Right, I want like a. Snatch me all the way. All right. I want to be walking and he see my waist thinking, damn. Okay. That's all me. I'm a bit partial to something different, but sorry, continue. But um, yeah, so last week, I think it was last week, I reported that they got married and stuff like that. And I did say that they, the sisters weren't there. That's because no pictures were shown then. They just put the pictures out and I just want to come here because I don't give fake news. The sisters were there. The entire family was there. <laughs> and it looked... <laughs> and I'm gonna be... They were there after all of that. Do- no, not about you, about the story that came out that they weren't there. But oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. I feel you are. She you said, correct yourself nah. immediately. <laughs> Don't ruin my segment. Like, nah. what? But um, yeah, so everyone, the family was there basically, but her grandma still walked her down the aisle, which I think is really, really sweet. Um, and then her daughter, Penelope, and Travis's daughter also, I think they walked down the aisle together, which is really cute That's as well. Beautiful. But it looked nice. The party looked lit. Mm. It looked nice. Her she outfits had, are banging. She, how did she become the trendsetter of the family? Because she minds her bitch is quiet. She because Kanye's out of the picture now as well. So he's not able to like dress. Oh, Kanye, oh yeah. Yeah, Kim like that. But she looks amazing. I can't lie to you. Kanye used to go back to dressing Kim because what Kim's wearing these days is <laughs> not giving at all. That's but cute. it was so cute because they had like a little leather jacket together and it had like Mr. and Mrs. Barker on it. I like cringy little things. Have like you that. seen the, the tea that came out though about uh, allegedly Travis actually moved to be next to Kim because he was trying to shoot a shot with Kim? Oh no. And then um, obviously Kim stopped being single. And you guys think that Scott and Chloe won't get together? Scott and Chloe are not getting together. We, did we do this on air or on off air? We did. Okay, okay. so we on did, I don't think they're going to get back. I don't think Chloe would ever do that to her sister. So, they're yeah, not publicly, but I think he hit. I, I don't think, think so. I don't think he hit. <clears throat> Chloe, you would know. You would know. Chloe, co- co- listen, Chloe wouldn't do that to her sister. <laughs> Chloe don't know nothing. Chloe Tristan is cheating right sister. under her nose. I will not be surprised. And sis doesn't know. But that's what I'm saying. I she's a surprised. soft heart. She wouldn't do that to her sister. She's a loyalty babe. Mm, she's a ride that. and die for you. You me. have too much faith in people. And I th- especially this family. I, I think, yeah, that they're very, very, they're very, what's the word? Very, who's phone? Someone's hot like in the morning. But yeah, I think it's they're very, very um, what's the word I'm trying to find? They just know. They keep stuff to themselves. Because even the whole news about them yeah. not being there was because no one saw anything on any of their snaps, anything like that. You gotta understand as well, yeah. It's like they're living in a fishbowl, yeah. And their level of celebrity is just like totally different, isn't it? So yeah. their whole life is not normal. You yeah. Know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So even her wanted to run around and have a moment where she feels wild and all that. Mm. It's so much harder for her to just run out in the streets and, and, and do something madness. crazy because she's just too popular. It'd be cut, it'd be easy for her to go to Scott's yard and chill and get cooked up. It would be easier for her to stay no, with Tristan. I don't, I don't know. I just don't think she'd do that Tristan don't want to be stayed with. I know he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> a man has had enough. He's tired. He's actually he's been looking for, for emancipation for a he's while. Been, that he's dying for Gagging for it. For it. I, like, I like Tristan, man. I he's think Tristan, I think that is really ho- horrible to do to a woman, to cheat on her back to back to back. Like, he lives his truth, man. He's just standing in it. Man. I don't, no, he's not living his truth, though. He's not standing in it. Do you know what he is? I think he's single. He on a normal day, back. on a normal day, I would say that it's sad that she's been cheated on, yeah. But because of what she did to Jordan, yeah. My empathy is that like zero point zero zero one percent. Listen, black women don't are, exist. They back. They kept Jordan up, you know, because the way they did because they had the industry bullying Jordan. You know, they it was had mad. They had brands. Should, I feel like Jordan. she didn't know the Smiths. Yeah, yeah, it would be done out here for. She'd us, be so. another hip hop. I would like him more if he was a good basketball player, but he's whack. So what well, the guy she's dating? No, no Tristan. Tristan Thompson. Oh, Jordan's been with her man for two years now. So look at that, carefree, peaceful. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, he's a neek. Okay, sorry. What makes him a neat? So Wait, like... did, did, did Tristan Thomas breed Jordan up? No, he no, kissed he lips her. He lips her, apparently. Oh, he just lipsed it? Yeah. Oh, he yeah. didn't chop it? No. 
And yeah. then creating all this fuss. Yeah. But he kissed her. She didn't even kiss him. Is that what she, it was? He kissed, they kissed each other a little nah, bit. Yeah, you know, someone, my lip is still there. Now I'm kissing you, but did my lip really moved. I feel like her lip moved but, a little. <laughs> Were you not, there? Not. What, <laughs> vid- her lip moved a little. What, but then she left the party after. That's what they vilified really the girl for. Yeah. Well, they done it out here. Like she dropped. She wasn't in the family no more. Like, yeah. The she wasn't. I wouldn't be surprised if she was suicidal. Because they, they. No, no, no. Because it was a lot. It, it was, was a really lot. lot. Like the whole world was bullying her. It was mad. Like this yeah. time, um, what's his name? Tristan was knee deep in other people's bodies. But but someone got, that, so, who's the, so who did he get pregnant then? I love talking to guys. Oh, that was, was another it? girl. Another woman. Another woman. That was a PT. But do you know what's funny though? Because oh. basically he had a girl, yeah. She was in the last trimester of her of her pregnancy. Then he said he was cheating on her with, with Chloe. Chloe. Got with Chloe. Mm. Chloe was then in the last, last trimester. I think he's just allergic to the last stage of pregnancy. And I think it's hard on him. Mm. Chloe was then in her last as well. Really? And what did he do? He cheated with PT. Now, are we, are we going to talk, talk about, about who she took um, Lamar Odin from? Who's that? He was dating to Raji P. Henson when um, Chloe. Yes. Oh, came and yes. Took him. He regrets that now, but oh, it's no, too but late. I'm sorry to, sorry sorry to Raji. So Raji P. Henson and Lamar Odom were dating. Yeah. And he said she's a very, very good woman, but Chloe came into his life and he. I, I think there was a. He left. There. He left. Raji he crack he left to Raji yeah. for Chloe. Did he go on crack after that? Yep. I, I think he was. I think he was dabbling with with um drugs throughout. His... That's a that's a massive L, you know. He knows now, but, but you know what's now. mad? Taraji has never admitted it herself. She does not want any part. Yeah, because she's oh, embarrassed. It's a mess. Exactly. Saga, isn't it? I, ain't I mean, that. his plan was. I mean, I hear his plan. He just couldn't follow it through. No, but he likes Chloe though. He wants Chloe back. Recently, he was on Celebrity Big Brother, and he, he has um flatulence. I don't know what it is, but he shat in the bed. Because when he has poo, when Lamar. he has milk, yeah, he yeah Lamar shat in the bed in the Big Brother. Why do you have milk? Um. No, but he says even his body just, I mean, drugs, I think things do stuff to your body yeah, in it. So then, but, and he said, this is so embarrassing, but the whole time when he was in the Celebrity Big Brother house, he was saying he wants Chloe back. Like the whole time. So he loves But she her. don't want you. Yeah. It's been years though, man. Chloe, does, but the, Chloe doesn't deserve all of this stuff. Like the Sorry. husband, the, the cheating boyfriend. She doesn't. She doesn't and you know what is? I think she doesn't, yeah. Nobody does, man. I just think that when you're in a situation, and she always came across as the, the one who was strong-minded and knew what she wanted and she changed boundaries, her. all that kind of stuff. But my thing is though, like when your man is literally out here having sex with people mm. and he goes and kisses a young girl and you think that the response to that is for you to bully the young girl, I can't lie to you. Whatever happens now she, she was is hurt. giving karma to she me. Was, she was hurt. She was hurt. And yeah, but you can't be hurt and be hurting someone else. And then also as well, I think what's annoying as well is that you can be hurt and react in a certain way. Mm. But sis is wrong and strong about it years later. Oh, she's still, she? yeah. Oh, she's still wrong and strong about it. Whenever people like tweet and whatever, she tries to do the whole um, I didn't do anything, I didn't do anything, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, babes, you and your bugs life. What? Booty. <laughs> bugs life. Oh, the, the, an- the answer. Bugs life booty. <laughs> I just, Esther, I just, I'm not even gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> I find that kind of pass. If you call, you call. I've it. never heard that term before. That term before. But wow. Okay, what's the next? thing? The next thing. Bugs life. Charles, since, still, since we're on the topic of cheaters, Charles, um, <laughs> Prince Charles, and Camilla are going to be on EastEnders what? for the Queen's that is so Jubilee. Random. I'm very random. Is it not weird for <laughs> William that his the woman that his mum was cheated cheated on by? William's is now, a snake anyway. I feel like William's he, a snake. I want to know if Harry gets gets on with Camilla. I feel like he he will hold it down for his mum. Yeah, William's the snake. Do you, anyway. do you think over over time you would just start to accept your mum, your dad's the okay, side piece? Yeah, would you start to accept it just over time? Maybe. Well, and I don't. I mean, do you what? Do you do, ignore the fact that your mum was with her side piece when she died? And I did not know these facts. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, what? I knew them. I didn't know these facts. Women are sick, you know. You know there's there's a lot of rumors that Prince Diamond. I knew them. I didn't know these facts. Sorry, I did not know these she facts. She died I've... with her side piece. Mm-hmm. That wasn't allegedly. They weren't married anymore. Allegedly. Do you know how he treated her? Allegedly. It's not alleged. It's just yeah, but they weren't together anymore. He was cheating in the marriage. <laughs> like, repeatedly and in front he, of her. On her wedding day, he's gifting his side piece a press. No. A, a double Gucci. Like the man a double Gucci bracelet on my wedding on day. On my wedding day. You don't get me a present. No. No, you're sick. In fact, she, she did a service. Oh, yeah. She didn't, she didn't cheat enough. Continue with you your story. You ask me. Not mugs big in <laughs> facts. To fuck us up. I told anyway, me. I told you me. I, you fuck me. Cause I said I know. Yeah, she's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm. Cho- I've chosen my side. I do not know this. That's man. my story. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Justice for Diana. Diana. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. This is so we amazing. love it. Great casting, Brent. Great casting. Honestly, for the show. you did Honestly. a great job on this um, side of the yeah, side on, of the, room. on the seats. <laughs> but um, yeah. So they're gonna be on EastEnders, and the episode will air on the second of June. Well, have they got lines? Yeah, so basically, um, in the scene, Charles and Kimmela will be greeted by the Queen Vic landlord, which is Mick, 
Played by Dan- Danny Dyer I love him. And his wife Linda Played by Kelly Bright Yeah she cheats I think they've got a bit of a They've got a bit of a scene And here she is talking to that black man I can't remember his name now Richard Richard Is he? Blackwood Oh Not Blackwood That guy from East Enders. Oh The old man Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Trevor Nelson yeah. Oh Not Trevor Nelson Of course Apologies Not black people But um Yeah so it should be fun For anyone who watches Do you guys watch East Enders? Not anymore Not anymore I'm But every Christmas years. I start to get a little bit back in I tried to for Christmas, but I just I stopped. I stopped watching him when um Stacey fell left. off the roof. Oh, okay. I don't even know who that is. Oh, that was Fingy's son, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Do you know who I really fancied? Max. Everyone fancies Max. It's the audacity. He's got Nigerian audacity. He's everything. And I, I just they have, they have a ginger guy. I love a ginger yeah. guy. I don't I know if that's called him a ginger. But I love I, like And you if, said it, you said it so like ginger. Rest, 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 rest. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I find them like visually like, oh, this is this is cute. But I don't met I haven't met many in real life. Yeah. But yeah. Right. But yeah, so um, I, I'm not met gonna lie. In real life. I think all the whole I love Max Brandon thing is this all. It's audacity, though. Because I don't like if Max Brandon pro- approach these women I in like real everybody. life. They're not giving them the time of day. You don't know that. But on screen, the me... character of Max Brandon, they love him, but they don't really love why do, Max why Brandon. Do people why do you like Brandon? Why? Huh? why are you speaking for women? Because, because I know you lot, you lot cap sometimes, don't you? This is definitely cap situation. Oh, Brent, cut that. Put it out and say he hates women. Yes. <laughs> By the time we're done with you, every podcast and every woman. I'll burn this whole podcast down when we're finishing you guys. Yusuf yeah, says all right. black women do is lie. Yeah. <laughs> all black women are liars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, sorry. What did you do? But yeah, so that's that. That's just that. I don't really care about that much. But yeah, I'm just range. You know, range. we cover no, we all types that. of news. Exactly. Who else is giving you this? Subscribe. Exactly. Um. So the man who attacked Dave Chappelle, he is claiming that he did it no, I'm sorry, but he's actually, he's actually has to go to court here with a thing. So funny. But um, yeah, so he says he was triggered by Dave, Ch- Dave Chappelle's um, LGBT jokes. And that was his... That was evident. As what? That was evident. He ran on stage. I didn't stage. think so, you know. You were, what, you mm-hmm. didn't know why he ran on stage? No, I just thought he was just having a moment. Oh. Because of the jokes. Yeah, but wasn't the jokes time ago? He was doing it on stage. It was, it was live. It was live, though. So <laughs> the jokes have a time ago, and he's reloading the jokes again. No, no he's a comedian. Like, he was making. He was in the stage while Dave was um, performing. Yeah, but he wasn't making no LBG jokes, was he? he probably was. Though. He was on stage. He said he's Dave gonna, Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. No, on his last. Yeah, but Dave Chappelle. He says he's gonna. He's not gonna. Oh, again. He yeah, that, but he says okay. that. He says that before the last two stand-up comedies. Now he said, "I'm not gonna make fun of those people no more because they hate me." He, he. That's kind of what he says. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, but he didn't know. And in the last one, he didn't make fun of anyone either. So he in that explained one, himself. Does that make sense? Like what he's actually said, he's kind of stuck to his word, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Like he hasn't just like made random jokes. Like the last one, he was explaining himself. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah, and that's there yeah, because basically, when before the guy jumped on stage, Dave was talking about the the controversy with the transgender community, right? And he was saying how you know he didn't have a problem with trans people until now, and he says that um he's had to he's basically taking a closer look at his content and. Will act on that basically, and then the guy decided to wait. They got Dave Chappelle to change. I don't think it's changed. I just think he's just like, do you know what? I hear it. I like hear I hear him because at this point, if everybody's so disgruntled and that, and I keep, and he can't, I, and yeah, I, keep just, and I keep working into it, then I'm then I'm yeah. working in it. So like, yeah. now you look at I've made so. my impact. I've done. I've said what I've said. I'm, yeah, like, it's done what it's done. So like, I ain't gonna talk about you now. And I don't think he wants his career to be defined by this yeah, exactly. one joke exactly. when he has so much commentary. Yeah. But um, I wanted to quote the the twenty three. The guy's twenty three. You know, twenty three. He's got plenty to and everything. Gosh. That's tough. Anyway, um, <laughs> he said I identify as bis- bisexual, and I wanted him to know what he said was triggering. I wanted him to know that next time he should consider first running his material by people it could affect. Well, I have a comeback that I'm not going to do it. Got your arm broke up. Didn't I was going to say that. I was going to say you might want to consider so, yeah. the way in which you land on stages when you try to attack people. Yeah, anyway, you might want to learn some martial arts or something before you want to fight for your rights. <laughs> no, seriously. He also says I'm I'm also a single dad and my son is five. It's a struggle and I wanted Dave Chappelle to know it's not a joke. So was he running up there to talk to Dave or was he trying to he land He was going to tussle. But so he why ended he up being like tussled? he wanted to have a discussion? That's what I'm not understanding. I feel like he's just trying to get like good mitigating um, thingies for his um, his court, court case. case. Um, so he said on his injuries, he said, they spat on me and twisted me as if, as if on purpose. And he acknowledged having a fake gun turn knife on him that night. Adding that Dave Chappelle asked why he did it. And he says, I told him my mother and grandmother who fought for his civil rights to be able to speak would be upset at the things he said. And then to that, Dave allegedly said, now your story will die with you, will die with you son. 
I believe he said that. I believe he said that shit. I believe he said that shit. I believe he said that. I believe he said, I said to her, tell your grandma and, my, and your mom, thank you. Now they're going to die. <laughs> but now he's going to die with you. Now you're going to tell them face to face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but yeah, so. Um, a joker never stops joking, bro. Boy. Funny. But we, yeah, we're interested to see how long, how much time he gets. Um, yeah, we're interested to see how much time he gets, really. It's good he got mashed up, though, man. Protect Dave. Uh, I just think he should just do, should be going hmm? around the second people like that. Yeah, for your information, over the weekend, uh, another comedian, John Mullaney. Had um, Dave open up for him on stage, and apparently he was still peddling um, "quote unquote" transphobic jokes. Who's who's Chappelle? Yeah, just on the weekend, John. Dave, oh, so he's not Dave, a man of his word. Dave Chappelle, no, but maybe just like, for his Dave specials. Chappelle literally walked away from a show because they were trying to tell him what to do. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm. Now, whether you wherever you stand on this, I'm just talking about Dave Chappelle. I don't see him. He talks about what is happening. He spoke about Juicy Smule. Like, at this point, I don't even... Do you Juicy know what I mean? He calls him, like, I actually don't know how the guy's name is pronounced. Like, yeah, he's, he's rebranded the guy's entire existence. And what I'm saying is it just... It's, it's in line with Dave Chappelle to not consider whatever is publicly... respectable. What's respectability politics in mm. his jokes? Like, it's just in line with what he does. He does what is... But, I mean, is there, is, is, is there, like, a way of... Okay, cool. Um, if I'm gonna like, is it different from addressing certain situations and having conversations about them? And obviously, he's he's, he's going to be funny because that's what he's doing. Is th- is that different to him working them into his jokes and like like the jokes that he done with the um with the the, the alphabet people and them getting in the car and rah, 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 yeah. I'm saying that. So even like what he done, what they're saying he done at the weekend was he just talking about them and it was it jokes or was he did he work them into his set? Because is that different? I think it's different because I think whatever he says now. People are just going to assume you're taking the piss and it's yeah. going to be transphobic and homophobic. So even if it's not really a joke, because of this, his track record now, mm. people, it's just going to have that label. Even if we just hear that he's talking about trans people or talking about gays or anything like that, people are just automatically going to think, oh, hey. Yeah. It's a sad, sad but, but what I feel like what's important to Dave for him is like what's true. Mm-hmm. And I think Dave is also in a position, he's not like the rest of us where we have to deal, like he has to deal with the consequences of his tweets, but he's mm-hmm. created a bubble for himself, whether it's moving to Africa or being in Hawaii or wherever he lives, yeah? yeah. Like he just refuses to kind of be shaped by the outrage. And I think in his head, he's not hurting them. The, but you made a good point a little while ago. You were like, well, at this point, everyone's getting upset. So maybe he's just going to back off it because it's like, there's no point. I'm not trying to intentionally upset you guys. So I could understand if he does stop speaking about it now because he's like, I've said the jokes. At this point, we're just fighting and that's not what I came out Well, that's what he said. But obviously with what Brett just told us, I would want to hear like, I would want to hear like what he, what said, he said, said, whether it's more overreacting or whether he would, whether he just dug his heels in and said, fuck it. And you mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It would be interesting to see. But yeah. just, I'm watching the video again. It's actually a little bit of a tussle. With, with with Dave, Is yeah, it? but the guy didn't attack with like chest. Like if you want to attack somebody, I haven't, no, I haven't seen this footage. You know? Yeah, so basically he attacked him here, yeah, but then he missed Dave, and then he quickly went for the exit, and then now the whole security is slipping and sliding on the stage trying to catch the guy. It's a whole thing. Mm. They must have definitely. I don't know, man. The, the pain must have been mad because he's. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's seven <laughs> dumb, isn't it? Not but yeah, guys, that's they all, all stomped him out. Jamie Fox and all that. They all stomped him out. Oh yes, yeah, Jamie, oh, Jamie Fox. Oh, Jamie Fox. Can we talk about why, how Jamie Fox is one of the? This is actually a hilarious he's video. So talented. He's so talented. How can you have that much that talent actually in your God's human flesh? Like he's he might, actually, he might actually be like the most talented. He is. No, guys, I don't think you understand. From like he can act. He can really. He sing. can. I mean, across sang. Genre, genre he can like, write. He can write. He like, can do him. Have you seen do him do impersonations? Have you oh watched his show? Did you watch his show? Like back in the days in yep. the 90s. Yep. Like this guy is actually no, a renaissance man. And now does he doesn't he do fashion fight. though? He's and he can fight. Like, get out of here. Right now. <laughs> get out of here yesterday. <laughs> That's right a, now. I bet he's Nigerian. Oh yeah. Come on, we. Um, but mm. yeah, man. Mm-hmm. One of that being said, <laughs> love a black man. We need we need a celebration of Jamie Foxx. I hope he I don't know what he needs to do though. I know Jamaican we, we've gone off. He did steal his friend's wife, but went to grab back. So did Simon Carl. Did he? Yeah. I think it's a what power friend? play. It was um his friend, I can't remember the guy's name now, but he's a director or whatever. And his current girl now, they were married and they were friends. And the guy gave like Jamie Foxx like one of the opp- biggest opportunities and all that kind of stuff. But the heart, the words marks, the heart was the heart. Let's live in our truth. Living your truth. Wasn't Jamie Foxx dating Tom Cruise's ex at one point? 
Yeah. Yes, he was. Katie Holmes. 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 Yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah, she was. I think he was the person she was dating secretly because I think um, Tom Cruise mm-hmm. made her sign some shit where she couldn't openly date for ages and oh, shit. Yeah. Bold. I'm just not a hater. You're you signing. Know? Like, it's going to leave a nasty taste in your mouth and it's gonna, you, you are going to be a bit bitter, but I'm just not a hater. Uh, so it sounds crazy, but if I introduced my partner to you and we had a relationship, whatever, and a few years passed, and then all of a sudden you and my partner are in a relationship, yeah, it's not going to be nice, and I'm, our relationship's going to be more than likely done. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, yeah, I have to look in the mirror. Like, if she genuinely, there yeah, likes you more than she likes me, yeah. Yeah. Like, good reasons. What, what are we doing there, man? Like, because if it's, if it's genuine, like, if it's the truth, if it's, what if? What, what do you want to do? What if he had, okay, Margs, really listen to what I'm saying, yeah? Go ahead. What if he has more money than you, subjectively more attracted than you, and a better career than you? You said it would leave a bad mouth, a, a, a bad taste in your mouth. I think it will poison you. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I think men don't mind that if they generally feel like oh she locked down or she locked sideways, but if she locked up in a way that you can't catch up with, well, like, if she's done that, I'm, then I'm probably because nah. like, hey, I'm saying I'm, if he's definitely like better looking, got more money, money. Uh, then that's not even genuine. I'm like, not gonna lie, you just want it for peace. She's just a whole. Wow, I thought he was impressed. Wow, I'm not hate Now she's a hoe. Wait, wait, no, you missed this. Say that again, please. I thought worse with my ex. Dated someone who I didn't rate. Why? I heard that, dude. Mm. So, like, because now you're on level with him. Some meaty person, no, bro. Like, what's, yeah, what's no, this? don't leave me no, for no, a meaty no, no, man. That's I feel crazy. Like that, for me, that feeds my ego. I think, God. No, nah. no, because no, now no, you no. two are the same. No, we're not. You know, you see no, what no. I'm it's not even looking if at your me man as a the enemy. If your man left you, which obviously won't happen, gorgeous, but if your man left you for a girl you do not rate, yeah, you know, to understand, you lot are both part of the same store now. No, you we're not. not. No, no, the same no, all I see, no. all I see, if your man if left you for a media girl, it says more about you than it does about no, you. It doesn't. No, it shouldn't. No, it doesn't. No. It doesn't because <laughs> all I see is that, oh, what a shame. So you really couldn't do better than me. That's a shame. No, but imagine he thinks his grass is greener. Don't you get it? As far as he's concerned. That, my grass is gonna get greener. Your grass went brown. That no, ain't got nothing to do with me. Outward, I, and that's that's true. But I'm saying what it's looking like is what the fuck is wrong with Esther? No, but the thing that is that my man right, went for the hobgoblin. No, but no one will really know the tea. They will just think, oh wow, Esther left you, and that's the best you can not do. Not if they put that. on the Daily Mail. <laughs> Like, no, if they they'd be the lying side, Like the Ukrainian babe <laughs> I don't but, want the bodies to do I'll take it to court Just to prove that it's a lie <laughs> But um, guys I've, I love the segment Esther yeah, And we've you. got more Amazing content And it looks like It's got a new name Can we jump into The new segment please? Okay Okay You believe in me Yeah Okay Let's go I thought you were going to Introduce me Alright No because you're going to do it You're going to say the okay. name of that Okay yeah So the name of this segment is the people's journey. Ooh, Ooh. like that. Ooh. Like yes. that. Because, you know, we're documenting and providing the people with information that's pertinent to them. Mm-hmm. But you're really outshining all the other segments. Come on. I say <laughs> word on road and we're going <laughs> to it. <laughs> Brett's going to hate this, man. No. You don't? No. That's I a shocker. No, I, I, I feel I, like you would have run I, it past. I prefer left news. That's nice. Same. Yeah, I, I think left, left news. I really, really, really like I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> but I, su- I supported you. I said I believed in you. I supported you. Cold, but left news And the first chance you got to say you did it, you did. Because I'm a snake. You're living your truth. I said I can't be the only one on this match. <laughs> All right, AKA definitely. Come on, <laughs> Brent's gonna cut out. Uh, Brent, are you shaking? <laughs> Brent's gonna cut out. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna uh, talk about is the cost of living again. So basically, some data from Loughborough University was conducted, and it basically shows that the basic goods and services for a typical family with two young children are about four hundred pounds a month more expensive wow. than it was last year. Four hundred pounds. Mm-hmm. So obviously, like I was saying before, now in your jobs, you need to find a way of increasing your salary by at least that much. Otherwise, you're, you know what I mean? You're earning less. In trouble. Exactly. So um, this data was pretty much based on um, what they would deem the minimum acceptable standard of living. So it includes uh, essentials like food, rent, and heat, uh, but also budgeting things that, um, that take part in like society, you know, certain things like internet access, going on school trips, things of that nature. Mm-hmm. So pre- pretty much it's a... It's a Data that pretty much encompasses everything. Mm. So school. yeah, so four hundred pound um, more expensive than last year. School trips were, were hard. Sorry, I haven't thought of that concept in ages. Mm. School trips. Oof, sorry, how much? How much were school trips though? Twelve hundred pound. No, I have no recollection. school trips like twenty pound yeah. yeah. to go to a museum and shit. What was yeah, yeah. oh, those. I thought you meant skiing in it. Oh, sorry, skiing. what private school? <laughs> I should know. I never went skiing. School trips in my day were free. 
I went chess That's what I'm thinking. What kind of shit are you talking about? Yeah, yeah free stuff. Yeah, but their days and our days, yeah, different. It's not the same days. <laughs> no, no, I don't know why. When you said trips, I just thought you meant going away. I didn't thought you meant like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you mean are you talking about overnight trips or like? Yeah, no, all the trips. Yeah, that's why. That's what. That's just oh. what went to my head. I didn't think of like. Oh, no, no, all the trips. Oh. Yeah. Do you go to the bar? You guys did you go to the bar? What's that? I didn't do that because I'm not an outwards. I didn't do that. I'm outwards. So go camping. Back in my day, I think one of the main ones in my day was Swansea. Not Kenshaw, Devon. Swansea, Kenshaw. Yeah, we went. You know about Kenshaw? Yeah. Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight. Don't know about Isle of Wight. I love this fucking show. Oh, you know the other dead two young people about Kenshaw, didn't it? What was that? Was that a concentration? What's that? Was it a hacking school thing, though? Yeah, it's a hacking school thing. Oh, it's a hacking school thing. South London is over here. <laughs> yeah, my school, we, sure. we just knew about Kenshaw. My school never Ken- used to go to Kenshaw. We used to go to Devon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, is it like outdoor stuff, climbing and shit and that? Or no? Yeah, that they just take you, just go away, you just go away and yeah, do stuff like Yeah, that was never my thing. Sure. I'm not outdoors, but you I just like stay away with the Did you not do Isle of Wight though? Isle of Wight wasn't outdoors. Yeah, so you go away with the school for like a week and you just go and just do different things, go to different places and activities and whatever. I think South London must have gone to Isle of Wight because everyone I know went Isle of Wight. That's Swansea. Okay. I never went Swansea though. Chessington as well. That was a school. If you did good, oh, I love that. Yeah, then yeah. You go to Chessington or Cool Park. So your secondary school never had skiing trips. No, we didn't. I think I wasn't allowed to go on one trip because of. Oh, I wasn't allowed to go. Rules <laughs> because of <laughs> some bullshit. I wasn't. I wasn't allowed to go on them, but the school did them though. No, my yeah. school did them as well. But I'm not a ski. Like, I'm really not out just babe. I wanted to. I was like, oh yeah, I want to figure out put my deposit down to go skiing. They were like, what? <laughs> like you, I understand that. You don't even go here. You ain't going skiing. You don't even go here. You know, there's you like limit, you know, there's limited induction. spaces and stuff yeah. like that. You, you, think, you think you're going skiing? <laughs> so, what? So, no. did you feel sad? Well, I couldn't go. Yeah. yeah I was pretending my mom probably never had the money anyway. So. Well, look at you now. You can go skiing you first time. You, you, <laughs> you can go wherever you want to go. It all works out. You, you can go. buy the land if you want to. You know, she <laughs> <laughs> buy the land. Living. She believes in you, boy. Um, so you say despite the cost of living. <laughs> <laughs> that is a segue. Right, back to the people's journal. Yeah. Um, also, Royal Mail are looking to increase their prices. They have all done. That shit is expensive as it is. Yeah, that is Ain't expensive. a stamp like one pound on. Uh, well, two pounds. First, first class is ninety five p. Sometimes you just gotta text people. They used to be twenty six yeah. pence. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Imagine. No, Send first class stamps were twenty six pence. Twenty six p. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's not talk about the cost of buses Mad. back in the day. Shit, forty pence. Listen, 40p, a, a child, a child train yeah. ticket used to be forty p. Yeah. No train. Yeah. yeah, underground. Yeah. Yeah. Mad. Mad. Yeah. And now we're spending the same amount of our prayer. Oh yeah, a child all day single thing was like one pound twenty or something. Found mad cheap. Mm. And you could just buy that and just cut through and just yeah, go on, yeah. stop you. Yep. How in reality, you know, how... I didn't even pay because <laughs> yep. you had the Fendi buses. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. So I didn't even really have to pay that. As a student, I never. Them oh, Bendy yeah, buses, so... yeah. I don't know what the concept the, the, like, the was. Cool. Let me chill out. <laughs> no, you identify as, identify you know as I mean? smart. No, I identify as a criminal, not a trans criminal. What a <laughs> switch in this week already. It's only Monday. On. <laughs> so, yeah, um, they're pretty much raising their prices because uh, I guess they're covering higher costs too. So and we all... wages, energy, fuel expenses, all of that type. Sorry, of what, what are they covering high costs for? Because they keep losing people's parcels. <laughs> so what? Because clearly you're not recruiting. <laughs> so, fuel expenses. Yo, you so know, in COVID... every time they have to go out and deliver your your packages and stuff, it's more it's more fuel in it, energy, all of that stuff. You know, during COVID, yeah, you see mm. the post workers, yeah, they stopped working with no notice. Like, I mean, the amount of times I had to go to the depot to pick up my shit, like, they were like, and I yeah, get it, it was that was standard. Risky, mm. But I said, no, you lot just said strike, like, you lot were done. Like, I'll be honest with you, ain't nothing missed about nothing. They could have left out my front door. <laughs> you I didn't have to open the door. I, I was at home. On you. I promise you, I was at home. Everyone was at home. Everyone was at home. Mm. Yeah, yeah uh, pretty much, the, uh, Roma was pretty much saying that they have to look into changing their business model because obviously, I think nowadays it's a lot less um, relevant to people, isn't it? Like, yeah. a lot of their. Uh, usage is, is down so it's been like down 20% since the pandemic mm. the deliveries have increased since the pandemic now but mm. back then because of the pandemic it went down like 20% so they're losing a lot of money so this is why they're trying to you know I get back them post office um, for um, returns mm. no, yeah there you go yeah I look, I look like a no mind what, what's that smile on your face He's thinking this is why Zara's charging you guys on pound ninety five. That's what he's thinking. Zara's not charging me. Shit. Not that's charging that's me. what he's I, thinking. I would them to the corners of hell. They're not charging me anything. I bought it. I didn't like I'll it. I'll actually go and store now. Right Mine's now. bought fifteen items. Yeah. Yeah. In three different sizes each. Yeah. yeah. 
to get one, one outfit. And do you not appreciate our outfits? <laughs> do you not appreciate? But you know, it's, no, but I, and, and they don't understand why as well. No, no, but you know, you know it's, don't. I don't understand how you're missing the bigger picture. <laughs> the here, bigger picture, which is that they're not catering <laughs> to women's bodies. They're just doing European sizes. And not taking into account. Hello, like, like, fashion you over. Like, you can't even. Are you okay? Do you know how much okay? Is? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's saying hello. Fashion over. They, they do the. Did they pay us for that? You did all did of that. And... that. No, they didn't pay for that. They, they must have Man paid you for that. Hello. hello. Like he over. said, hello, fashion over, use of 10. Like, come on. <laughs> and also, okay. you can't even look at their fucking pictures to see if something, if you can ascertain if it would fit you right. This is Zara. Right. Because the design, the, the, the model's doing up this. <laughs> How the fuck am I meant to know if the like, skirt looks nice straight, when you're you idiot. standing behind the fridge? Like, stop it. They're pissing me off. You should pay me to return because this is only happening because of your poor decision making. <laughs> anyway, so it's hard for us. Continue. Yeah. And, and the last thing is pretty much uh, relevant to our East African brothers and sisters out there in Scandinavia. So Russia have um, halted providing natural gas to Finland. So obviously, you remember they were saying they were looking to do something in it. if they join NATO. They've actually um, um, done it pretty much. And so yeah, no more gas is going to <laughs> to Finland. Have they joined NATO though? Uh, well, they've done the application. Oh, so they said. So that. they said, once you've done that, that's it. So Boris and them, are they going to now provide them gas? Because... Well, I mean, they can get gas from other places, but it's just going to be more expensive. You know what I'm saying? So, like, well, we're going, going for inflation. Russia because of that. What's the natural resources in Russia? Because they're sounding a bit like Africa Vodka. with the oil and that. So what's, what's what do they have? Because they seem to the provide a lot of gas. stuff. <laughs> they got, they got, yeah, they got... Like, Russia's they got a huge country. No, I know with massive different climates and all of that, but I know... Because obviously, I think of Nigeria, I'm saying oil. I'm thinking of Ghana, I'm saying gold. Like I'm thinking... But I've never really did that for countries outside of Africa. So I just want to know what... You mind your black... Business, that's why <laughs> <laughs> is Siberia a country or is that a place in Russia? I think it's a place, you know. Oh. I think we can Google it. I, I think it is a place in Africa. No, you suggesting yeah. Google it. Is it in Russia? It's in Russia, then. Yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Brent's making fun, so you guys have iPads. Yeah. I like, so where's it? Siberia, you around the room, but you, you've got a phone. Aren't I, I am right? unconcerned with where Siberia is. <laughs> Siberia is blah, 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 North Asia. Yeah, but you didn't say what it was. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's Russian a vast Russian, 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 Russian province. Yeah, it's Russian province. Oh, province. Yeah. Encompassing. Oh, everyone. All of a sudden, everyone knows. That. Everybody. <laughs> the heck? These are so. These yeah, are. These we know how to say the word ungrateful. province. That's why. <laughs> these motherfuckers are ungrateful. Don't help them. Strike two. Yeah. You're almost on Friday, and the, it's a Monday. Russia is a perversion. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> I've been doing that in the headlines all the time, though. Like, I've been doing that. Listen, you got to get it how you get it. That's so funny. Thank you for the people's journal. Is there anything you want to tell us? No, that's it, really. I hope so they can get some gas. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, to, to be fair, yeah, um, gas only accounts for 5% of their annual energy consumption, anyway. Ah, oh, they are. So they should be okay. But it's just obviously back telling yeah. that Russia ain't backing down. <laughs> Remember last Where? week when we were talking about electric prices and a Brent, uh, not Brent, Marks was like, I could just use a candle. <laughs> and I don't know why, but that shit was so funny. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm still waiting. Um, but yes, guys, another segment that we're super duper excited for. Let's hit the rotation. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to the rotations. <laughs> You're so annoying. Welcome back to the rotations. All right, so there's a few songs I want to uh, dive into that were released on Friday. On Friday, the first is um, the T on and Gig song I spoke about before. It's actually oh, yeah. uh, GRM Daily song, isn't it? So what G- does that mean? So GRM Daily mm-hmm. is their song featuring Gigs and T on Wayne. Okay, so they've branched the branch. Yeah, they have their own label, innit? They, yeah, they yeah. put songs out them. So, yeah, so okay. they have their own label and they put songs out. So this is one of the I've never heard of what so I a label can say this is our song featuring these artists. Yeah. But what's the song made? Like I don't get it. So it's it's their song. Is Posty on the song? No, he's not on the song. It's like DJ Khaled. He, he doesn't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but he's yeah. a, but he he produces the the, the instrumental. If, you, if shit. I if I buy the production, it's my producers. I it's my song. Oh yeah. shit. I didn't know that. Okay. So yeah. they they put the wow. song out, they obviously pay for the song. Okay, so who makes it to how? Or do the guys get paid up front? Obviously, the splits, but okay. the song is Jaron Daily. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, song's actually all right. Kind all right. Of, you know what it is, yeah? People get annoyed with T on, yeah? Because of the drill stuff that he does, yeah? But for me, I think I'm on a, like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it thing. And sometimes when he gets in his drill bag, I love it. So there's been times the where he's got it wrong, yeah. but when he gets it right, I don't mind it. Mm. Even that, um, sorry to think, yeah. It. Even the, um, the one with the sample, that, the new one that he's done. That people um, don't like, yeah. Oh, like yeah, the yeah. verse, the verses, like his flow on the verses, and that I kind of, I think like 
Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Tion does a good job of um Juju stuff. I never not like Tion's song, so the thing, can, they're just always a vibe. The yeah. song's called Suffer, but the thing is, when you hear Giggs and Tion Wayne, you're expecting something in your mind. Mind blowing. Yeah, I'm not massive, it? Yeah. One, there's no audio. It's just a video, isn't it? In the video, there's zero chemistry between the two. What's it I think audio wise and visually, there's no chemistry. There's no cohesion. They just both look like they're just two people in the same place. It's just dead to, to look at. Yeah. The beat is decent. It's nothing special at all, bro. Like they don't, you know, it's the whole the bled. whole song kind they of don't, sounds flat. They don't blend, yeah. They don't. That's a good word. They don't blend at all, yeah. But and they both kind of do what they do though individually. If but that you makes need sense. to blend. Because felt- there's even certain little parts of mm-hmm. gigs is bit that I'm like I, I can I can rock with like if that makes. Sense. I'm not saying there's a dope, dope yeah, thing. Yeah, individually. It's like, it's like, but you know what it is? Ah, I get what you're saying. It doesn't you know, come together. It doesn't come like. together. You know what it is? The, the structure of the song is weird as well. It's just, they're trading like eight bars in it. It's just, no, 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 it's just no. bare short eight bar verses and it's like chorus, verse, verse, chorus, verse, chorus. It's just too many, it's just too much back and forth. Okay. Like you don't, I don't feel like I ever just really got into the song. It's like when I'm getting into a verse, another it finishes and another verse comes on and it's too much back and forth. Maybe they recorded it separately. I feel like, it's, it felt like I, it was, I, everyone I didn't, was punched I, in I as didn't, well. I didn't hate it. And like I said, when Tion does the drill thing, that little accent they use, like, I kind of like it. Like, yeah. When he gets it right, when he, when he when he when he gets it wrong, it's alright, cool. But when he gets it right, I like it. So I didn't I didn't I didn't hate it. Yeah, you said it, before you jump to the next song, yeah. what rating would you give it? What's your usage rating? What's your rotation rating? What I was gonna say was I was gonna say whether or not the song made the rotations. Okay. <laughs> this song does not make the rotation. This okay. Is, this is a song that I'm never gonna listen to again. Not because mm-hmm. it's completely terrible, but there's no reason for me to listen to it again. Like there's I no just... reason. God, why you call it the rotation? Yeah, it's not in the rotations. Shout Do we Mario. have a Spotify playlist? I'll, um, I'll make one. Okay, br- bad boy bring, producer. Bring, bring also, so was that? You what? What are you talking about? Please. No, 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 no please. <laughs> Brent, wants, Brent wants his flowers. <laughs> no, what? The, I didn't say that. He said that. He said those don't. Wait, I don't know. You, I thought Emmanuel. He said he, he might do it. I, I don't think it was Brent. Oh, but yeah. What? <laughs> you didn't come up with the rotations yourself. No, the name rotation. Like you didn't come up with it yourself. The name. Okay. No, yeah. Emmanuel gave it to me. Well, Emmanuel, Emmanuel gave it to you. Yeah. I can't remember it okay, it doesn't matter, guys. We all get have but shares I in like this. How it is that you basically Are you plagiarizing people's work? I was, sorry. I like how you understood it. Brent, not Brent doing plagiarism. You know, yeah. Like, it doesn't make the rotation. I love her. Oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Bruv. <laughs> Unagi, you know that. I'm not going to say I say it up, but okay, cool. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> company was just, just for references, just so you can compare my train of thought, Giggs is obviously doing a lot of guest verses recently, isn't it? Mm-hmm. He's got a song with H with mm-hmm. Just Cause and I've rinsed that song. Mm-hmm. That song is a vibe. I love H. So this, you're saying this Tion's Tion and, This Tion and Giggs song, no, I didn't say that. You this Tion and Giggs song <laughs> fails in comparison to the H and Giggs song. I don't know how you feel about that. I haven't heard it. The Asian gig song. Yeah, yeah. Cold, bruv. The is beat's it? cold. Everything's cold about it. It's way better. Like, on a million miles better. So when you put music in the group chat, you couldn't put that one in there? Which one? The H one? H one. Yeah. It's old, though. I wasn't, it's, it's not in this week's rotations. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. If you were here from early, you so, would. Um, so, are you going to introduce the Spotify playlist at some point? Or? I haven't made it yet, Corey. Bro, you had the weekend. <laughs> no, the idea. Said, the I, the you I, come I, back you to work. The idea to me now. I bought the idea, so we're acknowledging that I set up the idea. Oh, yeah, you're annoying. Cool. That's what you want. I just want to make it clear because there's three men fighting and no one wants to give me my flowers. But Magic is the biggest in the room, not really. Though. All right. <laughs> Next is what we spoke about the other day: the unconfused, the uh, uh, Quavo, <laughs> and is it Oscar? take off? No, take take Confused, off, unconfused. 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 It's basically the song's called uh, Hotel Lobby. Yeah. It's nothing special to me, to be fair. It's just a typical Migos flow, Migos yeah. beat, Migos yeah. whatever. Margs, this, Margs, this Margs, it. It. Margs was breaking his neck earlier to the song. <laughs> I can't wait to get back into my car and play that. <laughs> he said, said, I can't wait to leave. So I, I really feel. See how I really feel about yeah. it. That sounded yeah. like that like it was giving me everything that I Is need. it? The beat, yeah. The flows, everything that I actually need from there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it was need. giving me. He said yeah, it. From the Migos. Everything from I need from the Migos was giving me. Now what I need to see, yeah, and I need to go listen to the lyrics to see if there's any actually like not substance, but like anything. Captions. Anything, yeah, anything good in there that I can, that I can cling on to and then it's, then it's, then it's going to yeah. be all right. In me. my opinion, that was cool. I love R&B mugs. This, <laughs> this other mugs. And it went karaoke yeah, mugs. Yeah, mugs, mugs, mugs. I like karaoke mugs. Bring him out. Yeah. I like Westlife mugs. Yeah. I'm not feet. This other mugs. Uh, yeah. Right, boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Hotel Lobby does not make the rotation. Yeah, for me, it wasn't, it wasn't given. Rotation. All right, now to my last song. Okay. Uh, this song is... You guys didn't like it. It's, it's, a, it's the assignment I gave you guys. It's the song I gave you guys to listen to. You guys didn't feel it. Don't tell me what whatever. I didn't like. So Biggie, Notorious B.I.G. It's his mm. first single release, I believe, in 17 years. Uh, the song is called Goat. And it features Ty Dolla Sign, an artist I've never heard of before, Bella Lubo. She's Nigerian. Do you know what? I'm yeah. so big, yeah, on um, no, that, that, that Afrobeats. Afro is Bella Shmurda. I said, my babes has made it. That can't be, that can't be Biggie's song. 
What do you mean? It is. It's Biggie's song. It's Biggie's release. Yeah, yeah Biggie's release. So it's, I can't it's, can I say that? I thought like I thought it was like a feature. I thought like they used Biggie's voice. No, no, I can't this, be, is, this, this is that's, this not, is, that doesn't, this, that's not a Biggie release. This is Biggie's first single in seventeen years. That's, that's his that's, release. That's, I'm not, sorry, that's but not a Biggie release. I need to ask a question. Yes. <laughs> How do these things uh, but, when people are dead come about? Okay, so so they use them. So lyrics. It's an old verse. The verse is from. Uh, I love the dough, yeah. okay. which is Biggie and featuring Jay Z on Life After Death. That's where the verse is from. Okay. So they took the verse from that song and put it onto this song. Yeah. Who gets paid? His estate. His estate. Um, His mum. I think the song is cold. It's 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 a cold? weird. Cold. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me that out. That shit is a hard. Hear one. me out. Hear me out. It's the a weird shit I've heard. marriage. You've got Notorious B.I.G. and you've got him on the Afrobeat song. It's weird. I get it. But I think if you take Biggie off the song, I think the beat is sick. The, yeah, beat, the, beat, the, beat, the beat is cold. Sick. And I actually wish, yeah. I'm not going to lie, I, don't, I wish they didn't give it to Biggie. I, I wish say, they I, gave I it to was, a different artist or yeah. the Afrobeat artist. Because I, I wish think, it was Afrobeat song. I think it's being wasted on Biggie. Because when I started it, I loved the beginning. Yeah. And that was because I loved to give it Afrobeats. Yeah. 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 And then I just said, this don't. Do you know what? It wasn't cohesive. It didn't, like, it it didn't, didn't blend. It didn't I blend. I feel like songs where you're bringing together two different sounds, they need to sound like, it's so it's a weird balance because it needs to sound like everyone's doing what we know them for, but it works well together. Yeah. And this didn't do that for me at all. Do you know what also you think, as well? Yeah, I um, think, sorry, I think that a song like this where you're bringing, you're blending like different sounds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I hope this doesn't sound stupid, but insensitive, but I think you need the artist to be alive because if you're in the studio, mm-hmm. you can kind of feel and you can kind of, you can take it in and you might be able to change something. Do you get what I mean? He but would have changed I think cadence, slapping sure. on yeah, yeah, my yeah, own yeah. verse on yeah. this, you're ruining and obviously it. that, Verse wasn't made for Afrobeats. Like, yeah, exactly. They, yeah, they yeah. had to try their best to blend it together. I think I don't think I don't think it was a terrible job of trying to make his verse. No, his was, verse sounds his verse sounds sounds good. It sounds alright because right. the, the beat is good. I just yeah. don't think that doesn't work for I a think beat. For me, whatever. I thought it was it. like I don't know if it was a producer or if it, I don't know what I thought, but I thought it was like yeah. someone's song and they've got Biggie on it. If that makes oh, sense. Okay, okay, okay. And then I could have maybe give it more of a pass. But if yeah, that's yeah. Biggie's song, yeah, Biggie's song, yeah, that don't feel right. I don't, yeah, think even, that's not, I don't think that would even be one of Biggie's favorites. Yeah, that, that don't feel, Biggie didn't need that. Biggie didn't want that song. Yeah, no, I don't believe Biggie. I don't, if Biggie was alive today, would he have made that song? Of course he wouldn't. I don't think he would have. Would he have dabbled in Afrobeats? Maybe. So who knows? But again, he's not here to, to you know. It's just that like his voice wasn't playing with a cadence. Like he wasn't, it's like they recorded, I know he's not alive, but it's yeah, like yeah. they recorded something entirely separately, which is what they did. Yep. And then tried their hardest to marry to make it. it together, yeah, but yeah. I feel like if it was live, like you said, he would have changed the way he said certain stuff to yeah. really marry it with the yeah. instrumental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a shame as well, because it's almost like they're using the weight of Biggie's name yeah. to bring attention to it. But then anyone not, who loves Biggie is going to feel like the same Biggie. Yeah, yeah. And is that the best verse they could use? There's, there's def- I, don't know if, I feel it was a bad choice of verse, of verse, to be fair. But there's definitely like, you know, proper like Biggie stands who are thinking, what the fuck are this shit? Yeah, like, no, you know, sure. Those the proper hardcore like, New Yorkers are thinking, what the fuck yeah, is this? Do you know what I think as well? I just think when people pass away, but, yeah, just leave, that, leave their legacy the way it is. No, yeah. I, don't I don't think, think that. Yeah, I, no, I there's just mind. people going to think, what the head is this? They didn't even bring I think out it's that word for the chorus and that. I think just leave the legacy the and I'm like, what the hell is this? Don't even. <laughs> this, this, yeah, actually. Don't does, do that, that. does that make your rotation? Of course. This this has been my rotation all weekend. He I've been, it, I've been it caning it this song the whole weekend, bro. You know what it's about me? I'm so sorry. You said you like this song. I love this song. I'm not sure if we should let him be in charge of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn. This is my opinion. Marks, I think this song. You might need to go back to. I think. I think. Okay, <laughs> segment back. One thing about me, I'm going to be unapologetic about what I like. Yeah. But I we think, know. I think this beat is so wavy. Oh, I think I'm me. I'm all about vibes. I'm about vibes. Yeah, you're talking about the beat that we all like the beat. It's yeah. about the, the entirety yeah, of the Yeah, because you, you can't separate track. the biggie thing. I can separate He's right, though. It, it's, <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a weird one because it is kind of like a vibe. It's, it's wavy. It's, it's kind of the song is, okay, cool. Would I wish this was a biggie song? Hell no. Okay. I wish this was a Ty Dollar Sign song mm. with the girl. Just Ooh, those two. Take that would have been, off. can you mm. imagine? That would have been sick. That would have been cold. Putting biggie on it makes it a bit of a weird little niche song, but you can't tell me that this beat is not wavy. But you know what? Big up the girl. Big up Bella. It gets to be with biggie. Yeah. And this song makes That's my iconic. real dish. I also tried to listen to M. Honcho's album, but I'll be honest with you, I don't listen to M. Honcho. I'm not really, I, I, I can't say I'm not a fan, but I've never really taken the time to take him in. Yeah. I gave his mixtape the once over when I was in the gym. It sounds good, but I don't want to speak on it because I haven't really taken it in mentally to be able to give it a review. I'm not being funny though, but that's a job. <laughs> oh, fuck. You went to your mix in. Don't you? No, no, no. You're thinking too hard. It's gone now. Just let it go. <laughs> he's, he's trying to figure out how can I come back ahead of soup. There's no, more no. segments of the it's show. Done. Uh, no, but it isn't my job. It's done. Because it's not my job to listen to every single bit of music that came out. Not him. Yeah, and, but, I, and I can choose we... not to listen to Emma Hunter. Yeah, but. And I did. Yeah, that was a big Friday. album. Really. That was a big album. Really. No, yeah, but exactly. I listened to it though. What I'm saying is. Guys, love him. What I'm saying is, give me more <laughs> time. 
Give me more time. More time okay. to do what? Listen to the by album. The, by the time your invitation comes back again, it only done. came out on Friday. Babes. This is the problem with this age, this generation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> microwave. Everyone's a microwave. Go away. It, that ain't been a week, you know. That ain't been out a week. I remember we're here every single that day. And how many times have you listened to? Um, okay, people? cool. Hit me out. Rotation. Emmanuel, back tomorrow with M Hot Show full review. We don't. We don't care anymore. No. Do we have all these for that? It's 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 it says daily. It's daily. It's a daily though. Um. All right, guys. Um. And just <laughs> so you guys know, it says daily segment. Just so you guys know, our daily segment obviously changes every day. So we have asking for a friend, and we have sis. What would you do? On you hear that, Yusuf? If you want to. <laughs> Brent, I, I need to have a look at my contract again. <laughs> if you want to send in a message for your friend or ask me and Esther specifically on some for some advice, message into zero seven five six four eight four one zero seven three. That's zero. Seven five six four eight four one zero three, and when we move to a different platform, make sure to be a part of it so that we can hear your voices live, live Um, But yeah, man, let's jump into the next headlines and it's football thing, guys. Yeah. There's a note on there for you. <laughs> so please Listen I'm right, begging guys, you Women in sports Let's go Let's I'm, go. Gonna, I'm gonna stop for a reason Man City oh. wins the Premier League Okay Which is a big deal So Manchester City <laughs> Won the Premier League t- Pre- Man City Manchester City Won the Premier League title On the last day of the season After a sensational Three goal comeback Against Aston Villa um, Saw them beat Liverpool To the crown In a dramatic fashion <sighs> City took a one point lead Into the final game Meaning Liverpool Needed to beat Wolves And Pep Guardiola Side Had to slip up For the Reds To have a chance At lifting the Premier League title The match was at a stalemate For a while Until Aston Villa scored And then doubled their lead Making it 2-0 In the second half Ooh. Whilst this happened <laughs> Liverpool took the lead In their match And Man City Seemed like they had thrown away the championship. However, the Manchester club then produced one of the most remarkable Premier League finals of all time, scoring three goals in the space of five crazy minutes and scoring to their second consecutive title. Whoa. The English almost left, but we brought it back. Both Arsenal and Tottenham won their got um, their games, but Spurs edged it and took the fourth spot. Man Manchester United lost their last game 1-0 to Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace? Oh, sorry, but, but managed to score sixth place and scrape into Europe. It's like a you know what? I should have just took some authority in this initiative and just read that story. <laughs> yeah, also, you know also, 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 on that, on that, on that. First of all, I feel like I should have just first of all, read that. Why? Because, Give me feedback. Why? Yeah, because I don't know what you've done with well, that. No, no, I no, 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 Okay, because this. reading this year, mm-hmm. it's like a parable to me, right? I don't, I know who won, yes, but beyond that, I don't know. What and else I happens. gave you the story, and I think it's the way in which this. I just think it's just too many cities the, coming in, right? So it's not you. It's Your not delivery me. was excellent. Thank you because you took me on the on journey, journey with you. I read. I felt like I was at a pitch. Thank you. I was goal. on the pitch with you. It's a goal. It's a goal. All right then. Okay. Also, also, let's not forget that United would have been in the Conference League. If it wasn't for Brian. I don't know what that means. Be, we this, didn't forget. This, we just don't know. But let's let you guys have this. That's our own design. And also, who's got the goals? Also, you, you guys. Who's got points? Yeah. Yeah. His name points. Danny Welbeck. It's gonna take twenty minutes. His name Danny Welbeck. He's also player. What? But what academy does he come from? This is our own design. This is not who did Brian? Really, 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 what? Do you know you're playing in the same competition? That's, that's, that's Take off your question. shirt. Do you know you're playing in the same competition? <laughs> Take off your shirt. We finished 11, 11 points above you. Do you know Take we're playing the same competition? We finished 11 points above you, so yes, I do think we're better do you know that? Do you know that you were six points in front of Spurs Take with a game you, in hand? You are only in the Europa League you know you on a technicality, points? bruv. Do you know you're six points? Do you know you're six points? Do you know you're 11, points, you're 11 points behind us? Ask a question. Do you know you're 11 points behind us? Do you know? You are you're 11 points behind us, fam. Is someone going to answer the question? Take off your shirt. You're 11 points behind us. In our worst ever season. It's four, what's that? Four games, if oh, that. In our top. worst ever season. What does that mean? We're playing in the same competition as you. We're both going into Europe next day. Mambo, this is Sancho, worst, Varane, One second. This is our worst ever and season R9, in our history. The and goal. it's four games. The goal. You lot, and you, you man, you are, are worried about all Barely, barely. We might, barely. might barely finish in Europa League. You just scraped it. You just scraped it. You just scraped it. You just got to do maths, yeah? This is our worst ever season in our in our club's history, basically, yeah? Or at least in Premier League history for our club, yeah? So we might never be this bad again. You know what I'm trying to say? Nah, there can be worse. No, no, there can be worse. We might Marks. never be this bad again, yeah? <laughs> there can be it's worse. It's only four games. You are worried about us because we're 11 points behind you. You're moving like you had a good season. You was in control of your own destiny. Yeah. You were six points in front of Spurs with a game in hand, bro. Yeah. And you finished fifth. You're we're playing shit. Europa. We're shit. Exactly. So we're just shit. relax. What, like, no, what you're shit. doing, 
You're, you're worried shit, about all the wrong but things. But also, you're shit too. That's fine, but we know that. <laughs> we're, we're both not, shit together. Exactly, so it shouldn't make you feel any better. It does though, a little bit. I mean, I feel like you're <laughs> delusional. This is why you don't are where you are. I'm the most realistic Arsenal fan. Arsenal are in the mud, mugs. We're shit, but we done better than you. That's all it is. Well, guys, let's go into more sports. Oh. But thank you guys for that heated debate. It was phenomenal. They didn't answer the question. They were asking each other. It's crazy. Oh, they, that wasn't That's the point. The, the point was to to oh. cut each other down. I don't think they were trying to answer <laughs> each other's question. <laughs> All I know, someone's 11 points behind somebody else, but they're both shit. What are the best four parties involved? Yeah. I thought so with you. There we go. <laughs> no, I thought so with you. Okay. Arsenal are not crap, by the way. There's no progress with Arsenal. There's more what? No progress. Not Brent be nice in the fire. Because <laughs> Brent knows we're on a schedule, so... <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I know what you're in a season, yeah? You what? In a season, yeah? Wat-see. Where Spurs, yeah, <laughs> have sacked a, a manager. Yeah, for mm. mediocrity, yeah, have sacked a manager for mediocrity. Yeah, in a season, yeah, where you sort of claimed progress, yeah, it's where you had it in your own hands, yeah, it's progress you, though. Where you had the European place season, in your own hands, yeah, eighth, with the team, seasons. with the team, yeah, who are not only your North London rivals, yeah, the team, like I said, had to sack their manager because they were doing so bad, and you was six points in front of them with a game in hand, which is potentially nine points for you to finish behind them at the end of the season, yeah, is a these are, catastrophe. This, Capitulation is, of, is, of is, the is, highest is, is. degree, yeah, and 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 you award that, that yeah? <laughs> you award that mediocrity, yeah, with contract extensions and stuff like this. You are finished. Ne- no. You next week, yeah, next season. Sorry, you are going to be playing. You done this with one game a week, you know, ben one game a week. European, you know no European football, no commitments. One game a week. Next season, you are going to be playing Thursday and Sunday with that meaty squad you've got. We're going to get a better squad over the summer. We're going to get a better squad over the summer. Reinforcements. Let's see what kind of progress you make. Let's see how you get along. I didn't want to tell you no home truths, Brent. You wanted to, <laughs> yeah. you wanted to start. Okay, this, this sounds like a pre done out here. No, you're before we jump done out here. Before we jump into done out here, let's do one more sporting thing, okay? So, it's not a sporting thing. <laughs> <laughs> Buatzi defeats oh, Richard dear. in box in British boxing classic. Joshua has taken a step closer to fighting for the world light heavyweight title after claiming a points victory over Craig Richards at the O2 Arena in London. Buatsi, an Olympic bronze medalist, seemed to dominate the early stages, but then fended off a big comeback by Richards to claim a... So, I'm going to say 116, <laughs> but you want 106. What do you say? 116. One si- oh, that's what we do. 116. To 112. Mm-hmm. All right, then. 115 to 113. 113. Mm-hmm. And 115 to 113. Sounds really cool. Thank you. Unanimous verdict. His win in a fight that was promoted by WBA title, Eliminate R. As a WBA. Oh, stop it. Okay. His win, <laughs> we're going to send this. <laughs> okay. His win in a fight that was promoted as a WBA title, Eliminate R, should land him a shot at Bivol, who retains. Dimitri. <laughs> Who retained? Um, yeah, you're not going to be on the show next week anyway. <laughs> oh, is there another black bottle? It's an easy word. It's an easy word to say. Who retained, who retained the belt in a big upset over Alvarez earlier this month? This was Richard's second loss, the first incidentally against Bivol, um, Dimitri Bivol. The first of uh, the fight once again brought m- much attention to British boxing, which sorry, with what many are touting as a classic domestic fight. So Brit- British boxing different from American boxing. Yeah, I've been seeing Britain. Okay, shut up. <laughs> what, what are you saying? I'm saying, is there like, is it like American football versus football, uh, British football? That's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, no, 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 no. It's not fucking like, it, hell. Yeah, fuck it's, the it's, People's it's, Journal. It's, fuck oh, shit. the, the jam packed melanin. <laughs> fuck you all. Like, with you, there's a lot of reading. Quite you know? I'm sad, man. Like, you don't feel like it. <laughs> you know, so funny. When you're reading that, like, oh, I know something. I've heard people. And Mark. then I clocked it because I heard it a second ago. Did you do this? <laughs> what, the second one? Yeah. Because right. you're, you're, you're giving the guy flowers. I didn't put that there. Oh, oh no, I put it there. Oh. That's an option. I had to give him options. Oh. But yeah, women in sports. Um, So there you go. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't do that. I like yeah. the name Bivol. Yeah, Bivol's a nice name. Dimitri's yeah, a nice name as well. That's a Dimitri's different spelling. A nice name too. Just saying. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my take on that. But yeah, do you guys have any takes on boxing? Is that something you're passionate about? I wouldn't say passionate. I have a little small interest in it. But more so mainstream boxing. I'm not really like that. So you don't know who, do you know who Bivol is? I have no idea who he is. No. Yeah, you really were quick to defend his I missed this round of boxing. I was I was focused on um on 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 Lippy's fight, so mm. I missed um, what was going on with that boxing. I've seen them um, stuff in the news. I realized there's stuff that's gone on, but I missed it all. I don't know. Also with boxing, Floyd Mayweather had the fight over the weekend as well. Oh yeah, okay. exhibition, exhibition right? fight. Yeah, yeah. Like a fight, fight, or I thought he just had a fight. Like, what's an exhibition yeah. fight against what's... some guy called something something more? Yeah, I heard he fist oh. him up. Yeah, fist him up still. 
I just thought you meant that they were like just Are people still gossip kind of fan. Not be Floyd. Yeah. Floyd's doing it for the money, isn't it? Bags, isn't it? Just I know, but like, why would someone get into the into the ring with him? He's a very good fighter, right? Yeah. Because just... they're also doing it for the money. Yeah. Okay, fair yeah. enough. All right, well, guys, um, after that riveting sports um, bit, we are going to jump into Done Out Here. Whoever put this up in the suggestion did not know Mugs. <laughs> and I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because in what world was it ever going to do that? Yeah, no, nah, I can look. You know what? I'm going to give you like a veil behind, a peek behind the curtain. You get me? I'm going to give you some more options. They tried to. <laughs> <laughs> Man said multiple choice, done I? <laughs> nah. Who thought the father who ran away with the Ukrainian could be done exactly. at it? I feel like, like he's... Nah, why? Because he, he left his wife of 10 years. When was Mark's ever going to empathize he's, with he's, that? He was like, he's, he's prosper. He's... Mark's rates him. What about his kids? He's taking the kids with him, innit? No. Oh, no, but the kids like the new mum. The kids mom. like the new mum. They do like the new mum. Yeah, so at least he's, he's coming, man. He's, he's winning. Old, those kids are not... He's winning, he's winning. Yeah, no, I was going to say Liverpool fans because I was with them yesterday and they mm. thought they was going to win the league, boy. <laughs> they thought <laughs> they was going to win the league. And by the, they were damn bad by the end of the game, and I was so happy they didn't. But they're too good, and my team's too bad to even talk about them. Mm. And then because of Nipple um game. because of no because of the pre no, because game. of the pre um Dana air that Brent just got, I'm gonna allow Arsenal I, as well. No, 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 I didn't say anything because the <laughs> point still stood. You said nothing that that challenged it. We made more, better progress than you did. Full stop. And we were so crap last year. So one hundred percent, it stands. I hate smile. Okay. <laughs> how, how you say? How is Ben talking with passion and Marx is just like no, that? Right, nigga. No, because <laughs> well, it's Marx's mo is to wind you up. So when he sees yes. that you're giving that energy, yeah. he's loving it. Yeah. There is no yeah. way. There's no way anyone yeah, you, you said. I can see your face. You're like you're. He's with glee. Your Man's face like, is with I'm glee. in. He's <laughs> lit up. But I look here. Yeah, um, this week, I tell you who's done it here this week. Honestly, yeah, it's the sexual deviants, otherwise known as the Tory party. Yeah, and I'm doing the whole party here yeah, because there's just too many allegations. <laughs> like, it's just ridiculous. And you see this last one, yeah, you're lucky I ain't got your name as well, yeah. But yeah, you're doing too much, you're doing too much um, rape and stuff. And the, 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 the accusations too are crazy. And, and then when I was taking a little deep dive into the story, yeah, because I was just thinking that, yeah, misogynistic, this brother's a piece of shit, boom, boom, boom. Oh, he's got a type. You get me? Because he's type? men. He's only attacked. He's only attacked men. He's, he attacked four he's brothers. A sexual preference. Yes, yes. he's got. He attacked, he's attacked. Yeah, but he's attacked four brothers. He's lick, licking nipples. He's not. It's man nipples. He's licking in his. No, so, I mean, but but would you specify if he wasn't gay? Or would you think he was gay? If he was a straight man, would you be like he preferences had your women? Wives, like, had your sons, huh? had your you're, you're highlighting that he likes men. Yeah, but would you highlight if he liked women? So when monkeypox would have told you that <laughs> monkeypox is only with gay men, it's all cool. But when I'm giving you the information and the facts, you're making that like it's a problem. I don't no, understand but... what we're talking about. I can just give you the facts as it's laid out on the paper, oh, and this brother likes man. Yeah. It says... <laughs> Okay, but just to, just, to, just to help you, you're saying that you can understand why women's nipples would be more sensitive, and you're just saying you don't get why a man would, why men's nipples are nah, more sensitive. Nah, Mark, they're trying to make you done out here. Don't, don't have no, it. No, I'm trying to help you. Nope, I didn't say none of that. He I don't said, know what you're talking about. No, I'm, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> huh? Why is it relevant? You're not trusting. That, why? Okay, what, what's the problem? I would get if you think nipple sucking is a problem, but you're saying men's nipple sucking is a problem. I just think that you can't wrote this story. Spiked four men. Men with date rape drug and yes, licked one victim's nipples. I'm telling you <laughs> what this brother, I'm telling you what he done. I'm dying right uh, now, honestly. <laughs> no, I don't understand. I'm just telling you what he done. Okay, I'm giving right. you the information. Anyway, Brother, you know what? Gonna, I'll come and yeah. dominate it here. I'm, and it's men. <laughs> I'm just going to go, I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep referring back to monkeypox here because... <laughs> They're giving you the information and no one's not thinking. So I'm giving yeah. you the information. I think you've got to digest it in the same way. Just I'm not hide saying, your men. I'm not saying anything about it. I'm hide just telling your you. Men, I'm... Hide your men. Hide your nipples. Hide your men. MP on the loose. This guy has <laughs> attacked. Sorry, MP on the loose. <laughs> Look at nipples. I'm going to say it's attacked. It's attacked. Pure and they have a type. According to Mark. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me. Like... And like, yeah. trust me, he's been looking, he's been looking so stressed. If you're a man, recently. stay clear. Like, <laughs> no, dead ass. <laughs> stay away. But honestly, that like, you just better watch your backs in there. Stay <laughs> well. It's the front <laughs> that they have to look out for. <laughs> Who knows? Imagine they're just Who knows? <laughs> so the top... Walk around the, what's it, where, what do they say? Where's it work? Number 10. <laughs> 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 There's an artillery MP on the loose. You 
gotta go yeah, get my no. nipples. Hey, Tori, listen, get a get a grip, oh, get control dear, of your party. Oh, your man. tongues? <laughs> They're mad. They're actually mad. They're done out here, man. That's probably my favorite done out here to date still. As the only one that I've ever seen Mark look uncomfortable with. <laughs> he said we need to get them done out here for real. <laughs> for real. Okay, shit. Well, guys, with that, come to the end of the show. <laughs> Today, this was a great Monday. Um, we taught you guys about the Ukraine. The Ukraine babes got a man now. Nipples are not safe anywhere. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and of course, as usual, inflation and, and mm. MPs and that. So, but yeah, we're keeping you up to date. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Of course, we want to shout our guests. No, honestly, everyone that's tuning in, we really, really appreciate you guys. But I want you guys to do one thing today. You've got to send the show to somebody else. That's it. That's mm. it. One that's other person. Because you can't be the only one getting all this gold. Honestly. Share, man. Don't, don't be selfish now. Do you know what I mean? All right. And of course, guys, make sure you follow us on all social media platforms. Like, comment, share our videos. We appreciate you guys. We see your comments. And we actually respond to them. Esther be in there. Muggs be in there. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Um, Yusuf has also been in there recently as well. So make sure that you can communicate with us in that way. Of course, if you want to send any voice notes or text messages, send it to 75 1073 That's 75 1073 I won't tell you who owns the phone. That's it. And of course, guys, we'll be moving to um, a different platform. So not Patreon, um, where you'll be able to watch every show live. But this has even more functionality. It's going to have even guys we're not like everybody else we're going to do things better than everybody else so this allows better interaction um and gives you wonderful perks so make sure that you stay up to date with us and we'll give you the information shortly and of course guys if you want to inquire about the show or wish to feature on the show email the team at the day after at the new black has an x not a we appreciate you guys stay That's safe it. bye Peace.